know if you can hear me. If anyone's here. What's going on, Siphonia, Slaveth, Pleasant Thought, Battleship, DCB, RD Toy, Abyssal Spirit. What the fuck? This is the Cheese It Meatloaf Man. Did you, did you not see this dude last time? Check this shit out. Look at this picture. Isn't that the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? What's going on, Crunchy, Lamar, Dot Peps? Do you think she's eaten him by now? Absolutely. 100%. There's no doubt in my mind. I never understood why people stay with people who are that big. Don't get me wrong, yeah, I guess that sounds superficial, but like you end up having to be their personal caretaker and shit. Because they can't even move. God damn. What's going on, Walrus, Macam, Mr. Mars, Sly Cooper? What's good, dogs? How are you? I think it depends on the situation. I agree, but at the same time, like, holy fuck, dude. And I've always wondered, when you're like 600 pounds, how do you financially support that, you know? Like, I feel like I eat a fuck ton. And I spend, not not an exorbitant amount, but a pretty decent amount on food. And it's got to cost like thousands of fucking dollars to, to eat enough food to maintain... 600 pounds. I just, I don't get it, dude. I don't understand. What's going on, Lunny? Charizard, Mardos, Jesterino, Rumbles, CY, Black Roiland, Boshhead, Vanim Gauss, OBQK, Bruce Ironstaunch, Roth, Riz, Chovy, Endless Finn, Sluggle, My Rage is Unlimited, Most Come Creative on, Name, Dark Nihilus, Pyroman, People who are that morbidly obese has something wrong going in their life? No, I'm not I'm not disputing that. I'm just wondering how the fuck they pay for all of it, dude. Cheetos are four dollars a fucking bag now. It's retarded. So I just I don't I don't know where they get all the shekels. They maybe they're maybe they're all twitch.television streamers. Not fast metabolism? I really don't though. I really don't. What's going on point gamma? Freckled horse butt. Butter, they eat straight butter. Maybe they buy everything on Costco. Do I have a bump on my tongue? I have bumps all over my body. I've been devoured by, by insects. Speak, traveler. Quit the out there. Fucking sucks. They have enablers? That's true. Whenever you watch an episode of that 600 pound life, they've got like three friends who come in and they're like, hey, I brought you two pounds of Twinkies uh, for lunch every fucking day. And it's just, it's, it's just crazy to me. It's crazy to me, dude. I always just... I don't know. Maybe maybe it sounds like I'm bashing on people that big, but I just... I always wonder, like, just how you stay that big. Like, unless you have a legitimate uh, hormone problem or something to where you just put on weight constantly. Like, I, I don't know. I, I can never wrap my head around it. Thank you, Karu, for the prime sub. I appreciate it, dog. Thank you very much for using that on me, and enjoy the, uh, enjoy the Sif emotes. Thank you, Sozoi, for the 22 months. What's up, dude? How are you? How's your, how's your band camp going? Start grilling, Tolo. Let the smoke scare the bugs away. Your clothing will absorb nasty smoke smell. I don't want a nasty smoke smell. Because I don't wear clothes. I'm a redneck who goes out shirtless all the time. So it would be my, my skin that absorbs the smell. I would smell smoky. I'd be like some shitty beef jerky that uh, perspirates Diet Coke. Does that sound appetizing to any of you? I forget that's real sometimes. What, me, me perspirating Diet Coke while smelling like beef jerky or your band camp? That's a big no for me, dog. Come on. Come on, dude. 
both? Alright, that's fair. What the fuck is, is trying to get to my ass? It wants my stinky grapes. Hey, y'all just come, came by to stop by real quick and say hi before I go to bed I've been up for 20 hours. Yeah, have a good one, dude. Get some rest. Whenever I, like in the rare occasion where I've stayed up 20 hours, I pretty much just want to fucking eat myself out of existence by the time I hit hour 20. It's pretty fucking miserable. What's going on, Natharis? So my, my mission today is to start the Blood Moon quest line and uh, try to get to the point where I can make the weapons out of Stalrim. Which, Stalrim, if you're not familiar with Morrowind, that's, some, that's ice shit. Uh, you're gonna have an icicle sword. Maybe, maybe even icicle armor. Who knows? We'll, we'll figure it out. I'm getting fucking gangbanged right now. Jesus Christ, dude. These dude, holy fuck. What a bunch of assholes. What's good, gotta... What the fuck is that emote? That's terrifying. Dude, holy shit, I'm all the way back here. I didn't save it all. Told her not to sound like a dick is your mic fucked up. No, I'm just... I sound bad. I have a shitty voice. Sorry. Final Fantasy XIV expansion at the end of this month. I'm aiming for 48 straight unreleased unless servers are absolute. I've never stayed up more than like 30 hours. That's my absolute maximum. By that point, I get... Like, I can't... I physically can't stay awake anymore. Like, I'm... I'm I'll be falling asleep and nodding off and I can't keep going. That's the point where I think I need uh, some pretty big dick dosages of stimulants. Hope you have a great stream. Gotta go to sleep. Alright, have a good one. Did you know that the Great Grey Wolf Sif is in the new Pokemon game? Yeah, and it looks fucking stupid. Like, every, like everything in the new Pokemon games, it's over-designed to shit, so it has like 20 spikes coming out of its back. It's got like fucking tails coming out of its face. Uh, like... like it, it only has, like, five colors, which isn't a lot for a new Pokemon design, but the way they're applied makes it look like a toddler fucking colored it in. Um, I, I really like the Crow. The Crow looks sick as fuck. I think that's one of the best ones they've made in a long time, but I really just... I don't know, dude. Like, they could, they could make... Like, those designs are solid in concept, but I don't like the execution. I thought some of the new Pokemon were fine. Yeah, like, the, uh, like I said, the crow looks amazing. The the armored crow, I don't remember its name, it was something fucking stupid, it was like a pun. I think it was like Corvinite, which Corvid is family, the family of birds that like crows and shit and ravens belong to, and it's a knight. So, you know, real creative name there, but it is Pokemon after all. I don't think they're confident in making simple designs because of the sheer, well... You can have more complicated designs. I just think they get really carried away sometimes. Like some of the more complicated designs look good because they don't they don't overuse like a billion different colors like pasted on different random parts. Like a like a good example of of a new design that's not what I would call simple but looks really good is Haxorus. And uh that one that one bug Pokemon, I always forget what it's called. It's like a water bug. I, I don't know what its name is, but it looks sick as fuck. It's from one of the newer games. They, they can make more complicated designs and have them look really good, but like a lot of them just look... Wait, okay, so I have a question. Oh shit. Have you guys ever seen that image where it details a schizophrenic's journey through art? Where they he drew a picture, he, he draws pictures of cats basically and they have a picture where he made it before he got sick and then as his illness progressed his cats became more and more colorful and demented looking i feel like that's basically pokemon holy shit these guys are are getting a little carried away they're getting fucking carried away Spider with a bubble over its head? Galissapod? I think that's what it is. Galissapod. Back to all times? It may have been. I, I, I don't remember the specifics. I'll, I can find the picture after I get fucking uh, through this dick down that I'm receiving. 
Because right now I'm on the, I'm on the wrong end of a dick down. And I'm, Holy shit, I just killed you, asshole. What the fuck? And then I've got this this chuckle fuck. Who shoots arrows and shit at me in hot pursuit. Oh, right. My speed's bugged. So my, uh... My levitation's super slow. Did I escape? No, not really. <laughs> not really. This is actually pretty irritating. This is already, like, a really annoying start. Let me see, what can I use here? I'm gonna have to spam these healing items. Okay. Thankfully it's not a storm race, so those are worse. These are still pretty bad. Looks like they're getting more into open world areas, which is neat. I actually disagree. I'm gonna be a contrarian here. I'm tired of every game shoehorning in open world uh, design. I don't think everything needs to be open world. But that's just like my opinion, man. Bye later, dude. Thanks for 30 bits. For 50, excuse me. Probably means the silverfish Pokemon. I don't think I've seen that one. Sure do I love walking 30 times more for half the content. I mean, walking can be okay if there's interesting shit, but I just think that... Open world is a lot harder to pull off than people give it credit for, basically. And not everything needs to be open world. What's going on, Gonzalez? I think it's the natural progression for Pokemon. I feel like the natural progression for Pokemon is making, like, uh... Making the game remotely challenging for anyone beyond the age of three. That would, that would be the number one thing for me, personally. Everything keeps trying to be Far Cry 3. Dude, I move so slow. Look at this shit. Look at how fucking slow I am. This is gonna take the rest of my life to get over to the Solstheim Island. Good god. Because... One of, one of these mods, they decided to add a... Fucking cliff racers that drain your speed, which is perhaps the most retarded thing I've ever heard of in my entire goddamn life. I've... Uh, been on the internet for for many moons. Heard a lot of retarded shit in my time. Fortunately, five-year-olds are their demographic. I actually don't agree with that. I, I think that to a certain extent, like maybe I'm wrong on this one. I I you know what I I think I am. I think I am. Um I think their demographic is casuals, but I don't think it's five-year-old casuals. I think it's people who are who grew up with Pokemon who don't really have time to play games seriously or learn learn games. Like, obviously there's some people who are hardcore into Pokemon and shit, but I think, like, with the direction they've been moving with things like Pokemon Go, they just really... They, they appeal to the most casual audience possible. Okay. I can experience game mode for Pokemon pretty easily. I mean, Cliff Racers with five times movement attack speed. I mean, they're already really fast. They already closed the gap in, like, two seconds, so. And if you think about it, them draining your speed is functionally the same thing as increasing their speed, right? And still creates a speed differential between you and the Cliff Racer. Holy shit, this is... I like that. I like the little outlines on my wings here. They're little plastic Walmart wings. They're not even made out of, out of real angel feathers. Low computer citizen. Maza. The most recent Pokemon games were actually not too awful in difficulty. There were a couple fights that were kind of fun. That's good. The last one I played was X and Y, and it was just... It, it, it was so fucking boring. Like, it was the level of easy that's just extraordinarily boring for me. So I just... I... It's the first one I never even finished, because it just, I just got bored halfway through. This is bad. This guy here, where the hell are you? I'm going to Soulstein. I feel you should just play modded Pokemon? Nah, dude. Nah. Like, that sounds fun and shit, but if we're talking about... 
a new product that they're releasing, just mod it doesn't really hold water when it's something on the Switch and shit. Like, if I wanted to go back and play hard versions of games made ten years ago, sure. But if we're talking about anything remotely new, then it's not really a, a feasible option. What's going on, Melon? Gabium? RuneScape's the only game you need? I'm sick of RuneScape. I'm sick of everything right now. I'm just in a weird place. Yeah, I've just been... I guess I'm not sick of Morrowind, but I can't play that unless I'm streaming, because then you kind of defeat the point of the run. Like, I haven't done anything. I haven't done, uh... I haven't really done that much RuneScape. I stopped doing my little Gundams and learning how to paint. I just stopped everything to do nothing. So that's pretty awesome. Black and White 2 had a hard mode. I didn't know that, actually. I don't think I played the second ones. Ever play Baldur's Gate? I tried to play that shit at one point, but it was like 15 years after it released. Depression? Nah, dude. Not, not, not every bad thing in life is depression. Only crow Pokemon was cool from the trailer. Titan Pokemon shit looks retarded. I actually agree with you. Uh, I hate the fact that I, I, I agree with you. I think the crow looked amazing. It's one of the... One of the better better ones from any of the recent generations that I've seen. But literally everything else made, just made me chuckle. Like fucking giant Pokemon, dude. Like they're really they're really scraping the bottom of the barrel for ideas, huh? Hmm. Dark Alliance best Baldur's Gate. What's up, dude? Not much. Just playing more. Most exciting uh, stream game of all time. I enjoy the giant Pokemon. I think it's humorous. I think even if you find it humorous, it's going to be humorous in the same way the Goat Simulator is, and that it's humorous for five minutes. But that's going to be in there for the foreseeable future, and you're going to have to deal with that every time you play the game. New battle gimmicks get more shitty with each generation. Getting pretty good at newbie level Mahjong. I, I remember seeing that game in Yakuza, I think, and I just my brain immediately fucking blew the screen when I when I saw the board. Hoping for more regional variants, though it's unlikely. Are you going to fuck the new sheep Pokemon with the furries? Yeah, you gotta get the furry Pokemon out immediately. The serious is the bump on your tongue? It's about the size of a of a medium pimple. Nothing's keeping you here, so move on. Oh shit, I didn't know that it... Dog, oh, come on. Come on. Fuck off. Total Twitch is retarded and thinks two months is an anniversary. It isn't. Thank you for the, the two month resub LG Kurtz. I appreciate it, dog. Thank you very much. Motherfuckers are trying to put me away. It's hilarious to me that competitive Pokemon exists. Alright, I'm about to I'm about to say something that anyone who's interested in competitive Pokemon is gonna hate me for, so get 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 ready for it. I think it's one of the most asinine things I've I've ever seen. Like I get the idea of like semi seriously trying to do Pokemon battles and shit, but like all these fucking rule sets where they have like tiers and shit. Yeah, like five different tiers of Pokemon and like a billion clauses and rule sets just what? to make it Fair or playable is just I, I don't know, dude. I don't I don't get it. Reminds me of people who who take Dark Souls PvP really fucking seriously, except worse. Is this modded? Yeah, it's modded a lot. Hey, thank you, Monarch Ming, for the 22 months. Appreciate it, dog. Thank you very much, dude. I'm trying to remember where this guy is, because I'm gonna be trying to do the Blood Moon quest today. I think he's in here. Could be wrong. Yeah, I'm definitely wrong. Without the retarded rules, it would literally... It would be literally unplayable because Pokemon was not meant to be played competitively. That's, uh... Yeah, that's kind of the point I'm getting at. Maybe if you need, an in, like, a, like, an encyclopedia of rules to make something just to the playable state, people should stop taking it super seriously. We need competitive moral in PvP community. True. 
I guess I'll spend eight hours killing Geo, dudes. The people who do that shit don't level their their guys up legit. They fucking hack that shit, dog. There were events in Gemma where people met up to play. Yeah, but that's not that's. I consider that to be more in the realm of friendly competition. I'm I'm taught when I say competitive, I mean like competitive. Like we're getting in this bitch and we're we're taking this shit super serious. We have tier lists. Uh, that's that's what I mean when I say competitive. I, I I'm not talking about like random kids meeting up and playing Pokemon. That shit's hilarious and pretty pretty fucking awesome. Honestly, that's what you're supposed to do. You're not supposed to take that shit deathly serious. So I don't know, dude. Oh wow, yeah, that's right. I guess I I need uh. I need higher stats to do the Blood Moon main quest. I'm just fucking stupid. Thanks for the 500 bits, Lude. See, I appreciate it, dog. Thank you very much. You. My phone isn't letting me sub, so here, take okay. this. All right, dude. I'll take it. I like Shekels. I'm gonna play Dauntless this weekend. Tola, what should I expect? Well, I haven't played the new release. Um, Dauntless. Art style will remind you of Fortnite. Um... There's some weird lag desync shit that happens sometimes where you'll roll through an attack and you won't take damage at first. But like two seconds after you roll through the attack, you'll rubber band 50 feet back and the game will say you got hit by the attack. And you'll take full damage and eat shit and you'll get pissed off and get tilted and start playing really badly because of it. And the entire fight goes to shit and you're going to be like, man, why the fuck am I playing this goddamn game? What's going on, Airloft? Have you ever seen competitive cornhole? I haven't. I haven't. Then you'll play Monster Hunter instead. I'm actually starting to get pretty excited for Monster Hunter. I saw Tigrix and Oda Garen have a fight on Twitter today. It looked pretty looked pretty sexy. Okay. I'm going in here and looking for I forget exactly where it is, but one of these one of these towns, I think it's Thirsk, the one all the way in the northeast, has a quest where you find some asshole in a cave, and he's been possessed by this fucked up robe that gives you big dick magic stat and big dick conjuration. And if we get that, it's going to be so easy to level up magic. Um, but it has negative effects. It makes you take damage from the sun and shit. So, well, we'll see how it goes. Xborn is making me considering finally buying a PS4. Man, this motherfucker hasn't played Bloodborne. His grapes aren't even swole. Glavinus is coming back? That's why I'm excited, dude. Glavinus is amazing. This is one of my favorite fights in Monster Hunter. I'm not as keen on Tigrix coming back as I am Glavinus, but you know, Tigrix is alright, too. Ravenous means no Brickidio, so be in the next expansion. I'm calling it, dude. I, I think there's gonna be two expansions, and then, like, six months after the second expansion is released, they're gonna release it, uh, the base game of both expansions in, as an Ultimate Edition. And the second expansion is gonna have shit like, uh, Brickidio, Score Megala, etc., etc. That's my, that's my personal, uh, hypothesis, my game theory. What would you use in Monster Hunter Great Sword, but I hate Great Sword in World, so I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do for Iceborne. I might have finally ruined BB for myself. Why are you still playing that fucking game, dude? Like, no offense, you're my boy. And uh, hold on, I actually, I'm an asshole. Give me a second. I missed Oak Tree's sub. 18 month resub where he gave me a friendship lick. Uh, if I had known that your comment on that resub was giving me a friendship lick, I would not have scrolled back up. But I just remembered that I didn't I didn't give you a, a chill shout-out for that, dude. Thank you. I've been missing a lot lately. I have to, like... I have to, like, look at the stream after I'm done and be like, Oh, shit, missed that one, missed that one, missed that one. I guess I gotta message all these people because I missed, like, 50 fucking subs because I'm a retard and I eat shit. Uh, feels great, man. Feels fucking great. No sign of Baryoff? Baryoff's gonna be in, dude. If 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 the, the Narga Kruger skeleton is in and they're doing a G-rank expansion, Baryoff's gonna be in. 
he it, worst case scenario he'll be like a, a little dlc monster that they add after the fact barry off is almost certainly gonna be in at some point or another so i wouldn't i wouldn't worry too much i think if they have weird ass shit like glavinous in the iceborne expansion they're gonna have barry off and probably gam off too I would be pretty surprised if they didn't. Okay. This is the quest that we want to do. My son, Tim Vol, was getting water and fell into our well. I'm so lonely without him. Ever since his mother passed, Tim Vol has been my only companion. The pool beneath the well leads to a series of ice caves known as Rim Hole. So my boy may still be alive, but I'm too frail to search the caves, and everyone else in the village is convinced Tim Vol is already dead. I'll help you, dude. The well is out back. Alright, cool. Thank you, Glumpert, for the 18-month resub. I appreciate it, dog. Thank you very much. How are you? My Center World won't end up with as much content as his predecessors. I really doubt it, but you never know. Like, GU has, like, what, 90 fucking monsters or some crazy bullshit like that? There's just... There's too much. Like, you need to rework all of the skeletons that older generations had, and it's just, it's a lot of manpower. Monster Hunter World has the same amount of monsters as 3U. I thought 3U had like 50 or some shit. What's going on, Stegosaurus? My son, Are you talking about Try or 3U? How many, how many monsters does this world have now? Hey, buddy. Hold on, let me see. What did Black Royland say about Glavinus? Did he say something fucking stupid? I'm having trouble finding all oh, what's good, Pearl. Um. Why bring Glavinus when a skeleton can't be reused? Are you high? You realize Glavinus' skeleton's already in the game, right? You know Anjanath has the exact same animation where you break his throat and he falls down. And then Glavinus uses a modified version of the Brute Wyvern skeleton, right? <laughs> like, like, go and smack Anjanath in the throat and compare it to what happens when you knock Glavinus in the throat. It's literally the exact same animation. And Devil Joe as well. It's literally just just the brute wyvern. <laughs> it's it's uh it's not its own unique skeleton. If it was, I could see your point, but even then Glavinus would be worth it. Glavinus would be worth it for sure. Let's go on PS4 noob. Might as well add in Valfal. Well the thing is, if Valfalk's in, Gormagala's gonna be in. Because they Valfalk actually uses the Gormagala skeleton. Um so if we if we see Gore Magala in like a like a trailer or some shit, then chances are a lot higher. But as of right now, I don't I don't know if anyone uses the Gore skeleton. Alright, this is gonna be rough. I'm fighting dudes way way above my pay grade. Super Valfalk quest? I mean, shoot, that one's fun. Should I be afraid of fighting Nargakuga and Glavinus? No, they're fun fights. Why would you be afraid of that? Glavinus much more so than Nargakuga, in my opinion. I'm not the biggest fan of Nargakuga, personally. But Glavinus, I think, is amazing. Alright, we're fucking him up now. I like how he just thrust me with that axe. What a retard. Glavinus is going to fuck a lot of people up, probably. Mm, I don't know. It depends how much he's been changed. Because I think Devil Joe in World is harder than... Harder than, uh... Glavinus, personally. But if they make Glavinus harder in World, then... All bets are off, I guess. Because they, they do end up changing the monsters a little bit. Like, I think... 
I think Joe is way harder in world. Maybe that's just because I'm bad at world, but Joe is just a, a kitten in GU. He's barely a threat. But in world, shit's fucking scary. Joe is a kitten in World 2? Maybe he is. I've only fought him, like, a couple of times. By the time he came out, I was pretty, uh... Was pretty burnt out on the game already. Still haven't fought a single arch-tempered monster in World. I guess that makes me a pretty, a pretty shitty Monster Hunter gamer. Exact opposite on Joe? Well, I'm, I'm real... I, I, I consider myself to be pretty good at GU. At least in comparison to how good I am at Worlds, so I think everything's easier in Geo. Holy shit, there's so many skeleton berserkers, good god. I need to repair my weapon. I think that's my problem. I don't have any repair stuff on me, though, that's... Alright. What's going on, Swaggins? How are you, dude? They should add all the missing monsters in the 15th anniversary pick. I think they will, but I think only half of them are going to be in Iceborne, and the second half are going to be in a second expansion in the future. That's my, my game theory. Most of the AT fights are pretty garbage. That's cool. I'm doing great. How about yourself? You know... Honestly, been better. That's okay. That's all right. I'll, I'll probably uh, I'll probably wake up and be better once I stream for a bit. Usually streaming cheers me up. Thank you, Blind Ashlyn, for the 15 month resub. I appreciate it, dog. Thank you very much. Okay. 18 Ergigante was fun. I need to start playing it before the expansion comes out so I can de-rust. Maybe, maybe, just maybe, it's a long shot, but maybe I can get halfway to competent in that game. Maybe. Maybe setting my sights a little too high, though. <coughs> Sorry, just threw up shit in my own mouth. Hmm. How's the Morrowind playthrough coming along? Well, my plans for tonight were already foiled because I was going to do the Blood Moon main quest to try to get a new Ice Sword, but then I remembered that I, I actually need to join a faction, and I'm pretty sure one of the attributes I need for said faction is personality. So, you, you know me and my personality, not exactly, uh, not exactly going to be on Kids Bop's Greatest Hits. So we're, we're going in here to get a robe. If we manage to finish this dungeon, we're going to get a robe that will basically let us cast spells. And level up our conjuration. So that's what I'm attempting to do. Holy shit. Okay. I, uh... I didn't really anticipate them being in the water. But this could work in my favor. This could work in my favor. Because the, the quest giver said... There's another entrance to this place, so I can I can turn this in my advantage. If we think about this positively, then we just lured all of those skeletons to an entrance that we don't have to pass by. So if we find the other entrance, we don't have to deal with those two, right? Oh, that, that kind of hinges upon us actually being able to find the entrance, so we'll see. What's going on, Saucy Wings? Puppy. He's a good little doggy who likes to <laughs> F, why are you effing, dude? Every time someone says F in my chat, I think my stream has crashed and my bitrate has gone to zero and my internet stopped working. It gives me uh it gives me a little bit of panic, I'm not gonna lie to you. We're gonna get Metal Wolf Chaos Stream when it comes out? I don't even really know what that is. I know Rogue loves it, but that doesn't really tell me much. Maybe? I 
If you ever do come back to Monster Hunter World, I'm down to help you. Appreciate it, but who the fuck needs help in Monster Hunter? Like, you learn to do that shit solo before you before you play with other people. That's that's what you're supposed to do in Monster Hunter. Like, if you unless something is explicitly tailored for multiplayer, you uh you beat that shit solo before you get other people to carry your ass. What's going on, Chryson? Water dungeons a common thing in Morrowind. Yeah, there's actually an entire, entire category of dungeons that take place in the water called grottos. Obviously, gr grottos are a real thing, but there, there are a fuck ton of water dungeons in this game. There's even one quest where you're supposed to intentionally drown yourself. So yeah, yeah. Morrowind has a lot of water stuff. Way more than Skyrim and Oblivion. Armored core game with a ridiculous plot? That sounds pretty fun. I hate fun. <laughs> What's going on, Helby? Can't wait for Monster Hunter World Underwater fights. Man, that would suck dick, huh? That'd be a real bummer. Does anyone in here actually want Monster Hunter World to have water fights? What's going on, Fitzy J? I know Azurayquaza does. And that 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 bothers me. I wanna I wanna I wanna pop his head like a grape. I like how there's water combat in Sekiro. I was pretty disappointed that you couldn't kill the fish. That's the first thing I tried in the little stealth section with him. I wanted to kill the fucking fish legitimately. Alright. I want cars in Monster Hunter World. Yeah, that's fair. I always remember the original the original Rogue Squadron game for the Nintendo 64. There used to be a, a cheat code where you, you, know, you fly a Buick or some bullshit. So you're going around shooting lasers out of this dumb fucking car. And it would... It's... It's pretty good. Fucking amazing. I mean, I'm... Now, if that shit was in a game, like, if they released a Rogue Squadron today, you'd have to pay 30 fucking dollars for that as DLC. Let's go on some guy in a seat. Skyfin. Valk. Is your desire for water combat in world? You mean you don't want Goldbeard to be back? That's three fucking bears. Holy shit, dude. My my neg hole is about to be paused. What the fuck? Are these bears really casting magic and shit? That that caught me off guard, I'm not gonna lie to you. Why the fuck would you give the bears mage? Let him through! Only one of the bears appears to be hostile. Hmm. Give the bears paralyze. Barrelize. Holy shit, when you stagger them, their animations last forever. That's pretty impressive. The game has perfect mapping, absolutely. Holy shit, they get... They get fucked by Stunlock. Holy shit, dude. That's amazing. I just I just beat the shit out of three bears. When I'm I'm not used to like being able to do that on this run. Just like, yeah, I'm gonna go beat the shit out of three bears. No problem. I didn't even need to heal. Didn't even need to heal. I think my character's broken now. Oh, fuck yeah. Repair hammers. That's amazing. Time to fight, Umbra. I got a mod that super buffed him and added, like, all these mechanics and shit, apparently. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. 
I don't think it's gonna go particularly well for me, but you never know, I guess. That's a good loan quote. Okay. Hold on. Did the bear eat a ring? Is that what happened? The bear ate the fucking ring. That's hilarious. <laughs> and that gave it the ability to, to cast drain health spells. It's a good thing I, I, I skimmed over that book. Three mage bears? No, it was just one. It was just one. He he ate the fucking uh he ate the ring. This is a pretty worthless ring though. Not really the most useful thing in the world. I guess it has its uses. I can I could use that on cliff racers. Okay. Okay. That was uh it was fucked up. Immediately leave the cave and there's fucked up piggy noises asking me to uh ask me to bail him out. It's lame that Umbre got destroyed pre Skyrim, so no more. Is that why it wasn't in there? What, wasn't there, like, an Elder Scrolls book where Umbra became a city or some weird shit and it was, like, really fan fiction -y? Vaguely recall reading something about that. I can't fucking see, dude. I have no idea where I'm going. There's something similar in Divinity Original Sin 2 where a crocodile ate a magic glove that could teleport them. That sounds dope. I really need to play that game one of these days. I'm just gonna have to play it solo. Maybe I could teach Sif to play. Cool Ash Storm, yeah, thanks, dude. I really like it. It makes me feel like I'm in. Uh, I'm right up Dagothar's asshole. I need to look and see if I'm missing any cave entrances. I need to go to Rim Hole. Fuck Act 3, though. 19 months, I'm such a good person giving money. Notice me, everyone. Thank you, pal. Who I appreciate it, dude. How does it feel to be one of the most fantastic people I've ever had the pleasure of knowing for resubbing for 19 months? Another quality emo? Yeah, it's pretty fucking awesome, dude. It's pretty, uh... I, I believe the... The terminology that would be used by, by the chillins today would be litty like a titty. Oh, I just ate that. Ugh. What the fuck's all this shit? I'm, I don't like this cave. This cave's fucking scary. Ah, oh, thank you, Siri Advent, for the 10 month resub. Appreciate it, dog. Thank you very much. Hold on, I gotta I gotta move some cans because they're blocking my fatigue bar and I can't see when I need to <laughs> Can't see when I need to recharge my fatigue, dude. I have too many Diet Coke cans. You know, so many people in my stream have told me that I'm gonna die from drinking Diet Coke. Like I think if it if it was gonna happen, it would have happened already. I drink so much of that shit, it's unreal. I love this emote combo. What's going on, fried potato? You will live forever? I hope so. Only if Sif gets to live forever, too, though. Alright. This is actually... I remember this. The unique lantern that, if I recall correctly, it lasts forever or close to forever. But I think you can still extinguish it if you use it in the water and get it gets rid of the lantern. I'm not entirely sure. I don't remember the specifics. Is Diet Coke your gamer juice? Absolutely. What's going on, Eat Bread Get Head? And thank you, VHLW, for the five month resub. I appreciate it, dog. Thank you very much. Would you mind giving an estimated guess on how many Diet Cokes you drank in your life? Let me think about that for a second. Ow. 
Um. I would say around 5,000. 6,000. That seems roughly accurate. Because when I was a teenager, there would be, like, uh, gap years where I would, I would not have the Diet Coke. What's going on, Dusty Grave? Holy shit! I just got flim flam, dude. Jesus Christ. I got absolutely demolished. See, we still we still got a long way to go. Our character's capable of dealing with a lot of shit, but there's still there's still some encounters that just It's like getting fisted. Looking like uh like looking like a little little mini Mr. Hands. Polo's like Dale Gribble instead of Sigs. It's Diet Coke. At least I don't smoke Sigs, right? Too bad uh, my mom did around me for all of my all of my teenage and child life. So I I got the benefit of at least 18 years of secondhand smoke, which is pretty cool. Uh, big fan of that. What's going on, having the adapt chromatic crawl? Okay, fuck you. I hate these little piggies. Little asshole riding- assholes riding on their piglets. Surely the- is- is this where I need to go? Is this to Rimhole? No, this is Fright. I'm pretty sure I'm butchering that name, but I don't know how it's supposed to be pronounced. so many whiffs at the end there. I had so many whiffs. If I, if I had, uh, I'd either gotten fewer blocks on his end or fewer whiffs on my end, I would have been fine. I was actually surprised that I did, uh, did so well there. Do I still have the lantern? I don't remember if I picked it. Yeah, I do. Um, I'm about to honestly just, uh, I might have to resort to the goggle to find out where the second entrance is, because right now I'm Oh, hey, what's up, buddy? I like the way these little assholes run. They're on a mission to, uh, to fuck your woman. Where are you going, dude? What the fuck's wrong with them? Okay. Well, he... Holy shit, he had a sharpened one. How, how good is that compared to the glass claymore? Fuck. It's actually not bad. That's a much higher uh, low hit in exchange for three max hit. It's slow as shit, though. It's way slower than the glass claymore. Actually, maybe not that much slower. Thank you, Tex D, for the 16-month resub. I appreciate it, dog. Thank you very much. So the current goal in Morrowind? Uh, I think I've said it a couple times while you've been here, but to find a cave where we get a robe that's going to let us cast magic. That's good, Vicious Peach. Look, same speed to me. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Even if it was the same speed, the advantage of having a higher minimum hit is that you don't have to hold it too much, so spam swinging is much more effective. So if it's still, like, the same speed, it's not really worth getting. Because even if it has a much higher lower end, spam spam swinging is going to be really slow. Okay, I don't... I don't like this. Close to me to finishing? Are you getting bored? I, I guess I do need to switch off of Morrowind. I might finish the rest of it off stream. Um... Not even close. Okay. Why does she have a bear? That's just how it is here, dude. That's just how it is here. Everyone's got an animal friend. 
More horror games? I have no idea. I, I need to mix it up, though, for sure. My dog just got surgery for a tumor on her leg, and I can hear whining under my bed. Why the fuck are you here, dude? You need to be, you need to be snuggling. You need, to, you need to be snuggling the pup and giving her treats and shit. Don't, don't be wasting your time in here if your puppy's hurting. Go fuck up Dagother. I really doubt that I can. I, I really doubt that that's in the cards. Um, I'm just afraid she'll try to jump off my bed. That's fair. Let's give her a snack or something then. Walking all over mountains. I actually I hate Solstheim. I, I like this. This is the expansion that makes me want to stop playing the fucking game whenever I get here. Like I'm I'm fine right now, but this is definitely the low point of Morrowind for me, and I have to go here so much because of the nature of this run. Sorry, it's hot as hell. I'm I'm melting. I I wanna I wanna keep the AC off so it's not noisy, but I also don't want to have a heat stroke. Thank you, Grandfather Nurgle, for the bits. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you very much. One of my greatest moments in Morrowind is being lost in the mountains and randomly coming across an orc in full ebony armor with the Umbra Sword. Well, it was orcish armor, not ebony, but everything else sounds about right. Unless you had a mod that gave it ebony armor. Which sounds like a terrible fucking mod. Because <laughs> that motherfucker didn't need to be any stronger. This shit's already crazy. Maybe it's... There it is. Okay. Then 10 plus... I know, I'm just giving you shit. I, I, I've I misremembered some things about it, too. So it's, it's all good, dude. It is all good. I just, I just like busting balls. I just like being the little asshole who goes, Actually, it was Orky Charmer. You fuck. It's my it's my goal in life is to just be that guy. Put the mic closer to the AC. No, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna avoid doing that. Oh, this is gonna fucking hurt. Oof. What the fuck? The pig was conspiring with that asshole. It's fucked up, dude. What's going on, Mouse Banks? Basics. Fucked up. These goddamn piglets are getting on my nerves. Speak of the goddamn devil. Okay, this is what we're gonna do to get rid of the piglet. I'm gonna fly way high up here. He's not gonna be able to reach me. Stupid fucking pig. Can I go back in here and rest? I could, but I, I don't want this, like, I don't want to rest, because the, uh, the skeletons are going to respawn if I rest too long. That's, that's not good. What's going on, baby? The bacon has its revenge. Yeah, revenge for all those triple baconators I got at Wendy's back in the day. Sorry for all the annoying and enchanting noises, but it's I don't I don't want to get my ass beat by the skeleton again. I probably still am though. So I'm gonna go in there with no fatigue and limited health. Those bacon eaters are so greasy, they're all so expensive as shit. Wendy's is so goddamn overpriced for what it is now. It sucks. They're not even that big, like triple Whataburgers are way bigger and they're also cheaper and they're also tastier, so it's Like, why the fuck would you go to Wendy's, dude? Okay. That went well. Oh, and I can rest in here, too. And this is, this is gonna be good. We're gonna be fucking good gamers. For the frosty dog. 
Wendy's wins in the fry game? I think Whataburger has fries, but I also think that Wendy's has dog shit fries. I think both of them are terrible fries. There the forces of darkness are mine to command. <laughs> All shall bow before the terrible power of Timbo the Dark. Okay. Who dares venture so deeply into the halls of Rimhole? The mantle woe is mine. Claim the robe in his power. Behold the vestments I now wear. When I read the old stories, I had I had to learn the truth. Could it be that an item of such grand magical lay so close to hand in the caves beneath my very village? I could contain my eagerness no longer. I jumped into the well. Brave Rimhole's dangers, and at last my efforts were rewarded. Soon the dead shall walk, and Timval the Dark shall lead them. But sent by your father, take off that robe and bounce on my dick. Okay. Cool. So let's check this shit out. Mantle of Wall. Fortify maximum magic of by five times and fortify conjuration by 50 points. But it drains my personality by 100 points. It gives me 20 points of sun damage. Makes me weak as shit to normal weapons, too. That's what we're going to use to level magic, though. Let's see. what We're at 15 magic right now. When we put the robe on... 90. 90. Literally went from 15 to 90 magicka with this robe. And it... Alright, so let's check this out. It, we have a 13% uh, chance to successfully cast a Conjuration spell. With this, we have... 100. So I hope you're ready for these noises. Because you're going to be hearing this shit a lot tonight. What's going on, Zay scene? Here, in fact, let me go ahead and preemptively... I'm going to turn the, the effects down by a lot. While I train this shit. Like, I'm actually just going to straight up mute them. Because this shit's going to get really fucking annoying. <laughs> if, I, if I don't. Okay. Take off your shield so we can see... Uh, I guess I could do that. What's going on, sport? I like how the footsteps aren't actually effects. Or, not the footsteps, but the, uh... The jumping noises. At least play Gnome Village Party? Nah, dude. That ain't me. Alright. So we're, we're cheating. We're, we're passing go and collecting, like, $2,000 by getting that roll. Oh, gee, that was a weird sound. I wonder what that was. The rock of no personality. Yeah, literally zero personality. Okay. So now we're going to do an alchemy run where we go and get all these al alchemical ingredients that we always get while casting fucking spells. Doesn't that sound exciting? I bet you're, uh... I bet you're really excited right now. Okay. Oh, shit. See, I couldn't even tell I used it up because I have the sound effects off. I just thought I was failing a billion times in a row. I'm a retard. Wow, holy shit. I had three of them with just one use each. That's fucked up. I don't like that very much at all. What are you gonna do? I'm new here, but I already love the stream of games. I usually play Morrowind. I'm, uh... I'm trying to get everybody who normally watches me to stop by playing nothing but Morrowind until they're sick of me. And then I'm going to build my stream back from the ground up by playing nothing but the Surge 2 challenge runs. That's my that's my master plan. Okay, I need I need to sell some of this shit. What's going on, Visku? It sounds like torture. You got to throw in some code vein. Yeah, code vein actually doesn't look that bad. I'll probably play that one too. When I, when I first saw Code Vein, I thought it was going to be unmitigated, complete, total dog shit of the highest order. Um, maybe it still will be, but it doesn't, it doesn't look god-awful. Okay. Alright. Hey, thank you, Soul Zero, for the Prime sub. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you very much. So we've already gotten two Conjuration levels with one-fourth of a Magic Bar. So we could... If we sit here and consistently... Spam this spell. We will get into the Mage's Guild tonight, I think. Maybe. 
We, we, we're gonna get a lot of end levels. But the thing is, I have stunted mana as part of my fucked up challenge run. So once I run out of magic, I have to use a potion or something to get it back. I can't, I can't just rest and get that shit back. And I also now have to play exclusively at nighttime because the fucking robe has, uh, well, it has sun damage on it. I take 20 damage a second with this robe. Here for the Kingdom Hearts 3 speedruns. Soon you'll be rewarded. One of these days I'm actually gonna fucking do it. I'm gonna get bored and feel like provoking people, and I'm gonna stream Kingdom Hearts 3, because literally every single time I would play that game, someone would get pissed off at me. Without fail, every single fucking time. Okay, so we're gonna eat a Daedra Heart, because that restores our magic up. Very slowly, but it restores it. Can't wait, Jesus. I know. I know you're I know you're sitting there quivering in anticipation for my Kingdom Hearts speedruns. Ban those people. No, that's why you would do it though. That shit's funny. That shit's funny to me how people like I will never understand why people get so mad over Kingdom Hearts. Like out of, out of all the games you could pick to get mad about, like why that why that one? I just don't understand. Two times speedruns so someone gets mad that- Dude, that's actually a great idea. So they can report me for false advertising. Holy shit, it's perfect. We got the perfect storm. I'm gonna get- I'm gonna get banned. I'm gonna get banned from Twitch with this strat. My dick is rock hard for the speedrun. You can't leave me hanging like this. Ooh, the sun- the sunrise is pretty. I like it a lot. It looks like a- it's like a Bloody Mary. Reminds me of booze. Makes me want to drink a little bit. We've already gotten, I think, five conjuration levels. And in the short time we've had this robe, we've already gotten five conjuration levels. That's crazy. That's that's insane. Can you avoid confusing people by putting two times speed playthrough? Alright, well here's the thing. Maybe. But I think, I think most of us can agree on this. Perhaps you can make the argument that the title's a little misleading at first. Two times speed run. But I feel like once you take five seconds to look at the game and realize that it's going super fucking fast, you'll be like, oh, okay, I misunderstood. Instead of having, like, this little, this little retard freak out. <laughs> like, I, I, don't, I don't know, dude. Maybe, uh, maybe I'm alone on that one. But I think, uh, I think I'd be like, oh yeah, you know what, that makes sense. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know what, I, I get it now. But no, that's not what happened. They got extraordinarily upset, like weirdly upset. They threatened to ru my My favorite part, I think, of that entire thing is they got so fucking mad and they ended up saying, I'll take my follow elsewhere because you, you call all of your viewers retards. I'm like, no, I'm calling you a retard. <laughs> like I didn't, don't 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 sit here and and uh, act like I'm saying that to everyone here. I'm singling out you specifically, you fucking moron. <laughs> I, I I don't know, dude. I don't know. I I still think about that lost follow to this day. It keeps me up at night. All right, let's make let's make some restored mana potions. I actually really want these to succeed. Potion failed, failed. Potion failed, failed. Potion. All right. So out of eight attempts, we only got three potions. But they're pretty good potions. Pretty good potions. That'll restore all of my mana for sure. Okay. Um, I think Comberry has mana regen too, doesn't it? Or am I misremembering? It does. And I have more. I can have more opportunities to make these epic potions. What's going on, B? Anyone tried the multiplayer mod yet? I actually have. Yeah, it's it's good. I would recommend finding people to play it with. Though, don't play it with, like, random motherfuckers. It sounds miserable. Then, yeah, that's, like, the universal rule of video games, though, isn't it? Like, don't, don't play with random retards or you're gonna regret it. Oh, shit. Okay. God damn. It's rough. 
excuse my my jingle jangles. So, I have too much shit on me right now. Let's get rid of the Boots of Blinding Speed. We don't really need these. I don't really need the Green Thumb Glove anymore. I don't really want the Velothian Helm. You know, the Slow Falling, who gives a shit? Oh, right, I have this amulet. This is actually a broken-ass amulet. 80% Chameleon for 45 seconds is pretty crazy. It's actually insanely good. Thank you, Ophimon, for the four-month resub. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you very much. How are ya? Was that always an emote? No, I replaced one of the old Sif ones with that. I decided it was time for a revolution. We needed, we needed something new. Okay, so I want to know exactly when the threshold for sun damage is. Because I... I if I remember correctly, you could be out in the evening and not take sun damage. Okay, no. What about 7 p.m.? Alright, no. What about 8 p.m.? No, I guess... I guess I'm, uh, I'm wrong on that one. I think I really like about Morrowind having a toolbox of enchanted items. I mean, on a normal run, I would... Pretty much never have that, though, personally. It's too easy to get ridiculously overpowered in a normal run-through of the game. Excuse me, I got... I, I ate an... I don't mean to brag, but I ate an entire Digiorno pizza today. And so I got some, uh... I got some... I got some pizza gas. 65 Conjuration. You notice the one that got replaced? It wasn't very frequently used. You fat fuck? True. I am- I'm getting obese, dude. Oh shit, what the hell is that? Should I try to fight it? It looks scary. It looks like it might have titties. I think it definitely has- okay, hold on. I gotta see if it has titties. I'm gonna have to- I have to keep this away for you, from you for a second. Do you, do you got you got the, the mammary glands? Oh no, we good, we good, we good. She doesn't have titties. I mean, she she has titties, but she doesn't have nipples, so it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Look at how mean she is. She's casting magic and shit at me. I want the nips though. Nah, dude. Fuck that. I don't want to get banned from Twitch chat. Like, if I if I if I'm gonna get banned, I want to get banned for something funny, like talking hella shit about somebody. Um, I don't want to get banned for like fucking shitty animated titties in a video game. You know what I mean? Helicopter? Yeah, helicoptering works too. Helicoptering's good. Imagine not wanting the nips. I just don't. I, I don't want the nips, dude. There's nothing wrong with that. You need, you need to respect my choice. And my game fucking crashed. Wow. Fucked up. Milk the Betty Netch. I'm gonna milk you. That's right, you. You keep, you keep saying naughty things like that. I'm gonna show up at your house with a fucking bucket. Not liking octopus nips. Stream artifact? And pick on the left? Why? What a rude streamer. Yeah, I'm an asshole. What else is new? Been, I've been, uh... Yeah, and a lot of complaints about that lately, so I'm doubling down. What's going on, Alex EXF? Eric Kitsune. I actually liked artifact? What the fuck's wrong with you? Not allowed to like video games that I don't like. Stop liking what I don't like. Can't believe you've done this. Nobody liked Artifact? Um. I just don't like card games. It's just never been a, a type of game that interests me. Like, if I'm gonna do card games, I would rather have the physical copies of the cards so I can sit there and, like, at night when I'm when I'm hot and heavy after playing a long night of RuneScape, 
I can I can open up my binder of Yu-Gi-Oh cards and fucking jack off the XYZ dragon. You know what I mean? Like what what's the fucking point if you don't have physical copies? I'm a male and I've lactated before when I was in military school and worked out every day. They said it was because of excess testosterone. So there's got to be like a fetish for some shit for for that shit then, right? Like Men so manly that they, they have uh, magnificent man mams milk and they, they give you milkies. Every online card game is shit. You, all you fellow gamers and gamettes pick up your Xbox shower gel shampoo. Oh yeah, that's a thing, huh? Male milking is in fact a fetish. Do you think Captain Crunch likes being milked? I hate that image and, and I hate you. Line forms at the rear, asshole. Everything is a fetish nowadays. That's true. People stick things up their pee pee holes. It's fucked up, dude. It's fucked up. I send you artwork. I don't. I don't want to see your OC, Pyro Man. Everything you can think of is a okay, okay, okay. Let, all right, all right. Let's let's try to find something that isn't a fetish then. Fuck, I gotta wait for these plants to regenerate. I tried that once, whale tongue. <laughs> Perfect timing. Perfect. So that that's proven wrong. This dude apparently is really into whale tong. <laughs> yeah, he looks like he is. He looks like he likes that shit. Okay. Cool. It's snowing. It's fucked up, man. Persuade him with this robot. And I have zero personality. I think this dude actually uh, is for a quest later on in the Fighters Guild. Let's go on and see a vodka. Um, I'm, I'm trying to think, by the way. Okay, I don't think anyone's ever stuck... Aquion shrimp pellets for fish, goldfish, loaches, catfish, and other bottom-feeding fish. I don't think anyone's ever put those in their penis. Hello, Blue Laguna. Anthony, slay hair. Not yet. Well, yeah. Now I ruined it. Now a palaplu is gonna take care of it. But when I when I said that, it was it hadn't been done. It's done already. Damn, you work quick. You work quick. It's impressive. You should. You should. Uh, you, I think I think you should have been in the new Sonic movie, dude. What's going on, Stalker Snake Tang? Ever just look at your fish and wonder what their kinks are? No, no, I don't. That's a weird thing to think about. What's the weirdest thing that you guys think about on a day-to-day -day basis? While like you're doing your job or you're at school or whatever the fuck, and you just have these like. Fucked up thoughts. And don't you say, uh, I should watch Tolomeo or any variation of that. Or I'm going to watch Tolomeo stream. It's too easy. Because I know someone's going to say that shit. If... Getting away with murder? I think everyone thinks about that. That's, that's like the bingo square in the middle. Thinking how I'm paying for Spotify but still listening to music on YouTube? Jesus. B... Why am I a 26-year-old virgin? Thinking about my friend's ex-girlfriend? Oh, shit, dude. Fucked up sex murder thoughts and immediately wonder if someone can read minds? Do you- Okay, okay, okay. I'm about- Alright, alright. I'm about to say perhaps the most retarded thing you've ever- You've ever heard me say. And I know, that's- that. You're like, I don't think so, T-Dog. Wait, I'm sure. Hold on, hold on. Check this out. Sometimes I think that everyone around me is a mind reader, so I shit talk them in my head in case they are reading my mind. And I call them all sorts of fucked up shit. Uh, just to stick it to them just in case, you know? 
Like, you little bitch. Fuck's wrong with it? Why are you wearing that shirt, asshole? You look like a, you look like a fucking slut. The fuck's wrong with you, dude? You you don't even have a lot of chest hair. Think a lot of people do that? Okay, I feel better then. Okay. Think that there's something wrong with us gamers. It's very juvenile. I'm, I'm just a very juvenile human being, though. I often think about how easy... I often think about how humans sometimes seem to be simultaneously really fragile and really durable in different ways. Like, you could get, in the blink of an eye, a car that you don't even see can hit you, and it, your life just ends. You don't even you don't even get time to, to process what's going on. But then there are people who, like... They, like, I also read a story about some chick who was, like, going hang gliding or some shit in Australia, and she got caught in a big ass storm and almost froze to death and she she ended up like miraculously uh living to tell the tale and was mostly fine didn't really have any long lasting injuries or anything like that so it's just weird didn't know total had enough brain cells to be philosophical i don't know why some of you guys hate me so much jesus christ <laughs> holy fuck I don't, don't know what i do to deserve this vitriol sometimes you get any trauma in a specific part of your neck, you get fucked. Yeah, that's true. It depends a lot where the trauma is. But, like, people can survive some fucked up shit, too. Like, you... There there are all sorts of tales of people surviving things that they really have no right to survive. That really, like, if you asked any, any professional prior, would have told you there's no way you're ever going to live through that. I love the jump scare spell. Yeah, this is the Five Nights at Freddy's VR spell. Because you're an asshole. I guess so. That's what people have been telling me. Okay. Let's get back to farming simulator. No, we're summoning skeletons now. We're leveling up our conjuration. We can, we're, we can do the magic now. It's, uh... I kind of cheated a little bit. I went and got a super powerful, powerful robe. Um, it's really, really making this a lot easier. But it still counts. Worst accident or potential accident you survived? Oh, God. Um, nothing immediately comes to mind. I have to really think about that. Hmm. I haven't really been in any situation I think that could have resulted in my death. Like I'm sure I have been, but I can't really I can't really think of it. I could make something up if you want to sound like I have an interesting life, but really I sit inside all day. I have no I have no friends. I don't go out and do things. <laughs> so the chances of uh, me getting in it I, I, I guess the closest I've probably been to, like, getting fucking attacked by another human being was that security guard story where I, I told a guy, a homeless guy, that I had no money while flashing in my wallet full of stacks. I think if I hadn't been a security guard doing that, I probably would have been fucking, i gotten the shit beat out of me. Maybe even stabbed or something. What's going on on Yamable? But I don't think that really counts, personally. In a swimming pool when I was 10, surrounded by my asshole stepdad's family. It's fucked up. What the fuck? What the hell's this thing doing? I don't like it. I don't think I've fought one of these guys before. It's so weird playing without the sound effects, but it's really necessary. I don't, I don't want to subject you to the conservation spell effect all night. What's going on, black dresses? Going to school would have been the worst potential accident for Tolo, but he... No, I've gone to school. I've got a healthiest degree, and I was working on more. I'm a 
Yes, I gotta do yard work. Two of my older siblings robbed a drug dealer, and they shot our house and vehicle. That sounds fun. Sounds like uh, some good shit. Okay. Did you get your degree in gender studies? You hear the story of how a Chinese woman cut her cheating husband's dick off and when he was in the hospital, they surgically reattached it. She snuck into the hospital, cut it off again. That's... That's fucked up, dude. That's fucked. I remember one time, there was uh, that one show, I think it's called The View, where there's like all these, all these women who make epic commentary on things that happen. What they saw this video about some dude's dick getting chopped off and like put in a blender and they were all like laughing about it like like talking about talking about how it like was in a in a blender or a garbage disposal and they were cackling about how funny that is and like how how epic it would be to see it spinning around and shit and it's just like good god good god dude i don't i don't think that's funny one laugh if someone did that to a woman's titties, that'd be fucked. If there's one guy in the crowd looking at people like, what the fuck? Don't be cheating. I mean, cheating's terrible and you should never do it, but that doesn't mean you should chop someone's dick off or do do severe bodily harm to someone, you know? You, it's okay to want to do those things, but actually acting on it and doing it is really fucked. Take away from that is most certainly not just don't be cheating. Yeah, yeah, like, that's that's the thing. It's... Eh. Only minor harm. Apparently not having any self-control is cool. Hey. I mean, if you, if you, if people think that, then they must think I'm really fucking cool, because I have no self-control either. What's going on, Shumani? I wish Pro Jared didn't ruin Sailor Moon for everyone. Me too, man. Hey, buddy, what's up, Chief? How are you, dude? 73 Conjuration. We're getting in this shit, dude. God damn. We're not even going to need the... Well, we will need the robe. Uh, but we, we won't need the robe specifically to cast Conjuration spells at this rate. We are running out of Restore Magic Potions, though, which is sad. How did Pro Jared ruin Sailor Moon? Well, uh, Pro Jared decided to take a picture of him with his legs spread eagle while being in a Sailor Moon costume and sent sent it to random women on the internet because it was supposed to be sexy. It honestly, like, okay, okay, dogs. Dogs. I'm, I, I'm sure every single one of you knows, but just, just in case one of you doesn't. That shit is not sexy. You are not gonna get a lady's rocks off by dressing up as Sailor Moon and being like, hey baby, wanna fuck this? Um, and, and because the, another person I know of who did shit like that is I remember CWC when CWC was getting catfished by internet users who he thought were women he'd take pictures of his asshole and be like hey baby you like what you see and it's like uh huh that's uh shit He's sexy if he's more physically attractive. I don't know, dude. <clears throat> I don't know. That would be really hard to pull off. You saw CWC asshole? You're goddamn right I did, dude. Seen his unclip, too. Draw faces on my penis and DM it? No, don't do that. Lucky you, yeah, man. I'm king of the fucking world. King of shit mountain. Wanna see mine? Not particularly. I think CWC's is probably better. How's your day? It's a day. Pretty shitty, but I'll get over it. It's nothing serious, just not in a particularly uh, jovial mood. So I'm just gonna play some fucking Morrowind and... Uh, have a good time. Not to 
this was a good day? Oh, for you, maybe. For me, it was... It wasn't really a bad day, but it's just... Shit's been... Shit's been really annoying lately. I really need to not be... Not be leveling up my long blade. I need to get my Torben axe back. What's going on, sad noob? If someone out there finds your butthole attractive? I don't know if that's the case, dude. Shit's weird. You shave your ass? I've tried it, but I don't do it regularly. It feels weird. I don't I don't like shaving my armpits or my or my or my little tea dog booty. Or my legs or my arms. Really really just the only places I think it's worth shaving for me are groin and face. Okay. Tea dog booty, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it, make an emote of my booty. No chest hole hairs? It's like a little tuft. We, it's not... <laughs> Cover that. No, I don't particularly like this conversation. Oh, this conversation's fucking weird. I don't want to know about your shaving habits, person. I don't know why you want to know about mine. Um... Used removal cream and that shit work great. Good to know. I'll keep that in mind. What what brand, dude? Oh, why are your poor hands bandaged? Oh, this this is my white wolf armor. That's what it looks like. Face feel dry after you shave. Well, see, you need you need to realize that I'm not a normal human being. Like I'm I'm fucking deranged. Uh, people. People probably know that by now, but my face feels like it hurts because whenever I shave, I don't use anything. I use water, don't use shaving cream. Like I get the razor and I fuck my face with the razor. Um, that's just I can't be. I'm not buying fucking shaving cream, dude. I could get, I could get like, I could get more diet coke with that. You remember, like remember, I've told you the story. Where I got drunk on Four Loco and shaved my entire fucking head with a plastic Bic razor and told my parents I was joining the army as a meme. I don't give a shit, dude. Like, after that, shaving my face with, with without shaving cream is nothing. I, I My powers are beyond your comprehension. Just a meme? Yeah, I almost got kicked out of the fucking house for it, too. Shave your eyebrows? No, do you think I'm some sort of fucking sociopath? Man, come on, you don't shave your fucking eyebrows. Got water and soap? Nah, dude. Use a bar of soap that actually gives you a closer shave. What if I don't want a closer shave? Really bushy eyebrows. Me too. They look like retarded caterpillars. They look like ratter pillars. Such a rabble. Yeah, I'm really edgy. Oh shit, it's about to be daytime and I'm gonna burn. Stopped using razors a long time ago. I just keep some shadow action using an electric shaver. I had one of those for like a week and it fucking, I don't know, I stopped using it, didn't like it. Oh no, I'm on fire. Dude, it's so sad. Alright, so we gotta wait 13 hours. I think, maybe it's less. What's going on, Quetzal? Fuck. How to safely remove ball sack hair? Uh, I think, uh, yeah, I'm sure we have a couple experts on that. Looking forward to Vampire the Masquerade 2? Not really. 
I'm kind of... I'm super, like, ret retard tier skeptical of any old game or old game franchise coming back. Um, that That's starting to... Like, my lizard brain has a bad response to it now. So, I hope it's good. I liked the first one for the most part, but I don't... I have zero expectations. It's a normal razor. There's nothing special about ball sack hair. Isn't Vampire Masquerade really old? Yeah, yeah, it's an old as shit game and it's coming back. They're making a second one. Apparently they are they're already talking about making a third one, according to Outstar, who I follow on Twitter. Who's apparently like obsessed with the fucking vampire games. Like it's crazy. It's absolutely fucking no, I, I respect it, because I'm I'm sort of the same way with Morrowind, but goddamn dude. What if you cut the balls? Oh, dude, I've done it before. It's not a big deal. Because, like, it doesn't hurt if you cut the scrotum. Like, the part that hurts when, when we're talking about that sort of thing is the actual testicle. Like, if you get a cut on your on your sack, it's nice. You get over it. It's not a big deal. It doesn't even hurt. It's just like getting a cut on your face. It's not a big deal. Just don't cut your testicle. Like, how you would manage to do that, I have no fucking idea. You gonna co-stream E3? Yes. Yes, I am. I'm actually thinking of starting my streams early for the next week or so, by a few hours, so that I don't fuck up my sleep schedule, because E3 is... I'm usually asleep when E3 is going to be uh, airing, so I probably wanna... It's like on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, right? I think those are the three days. Thank you, Super Kami Cat, for the 34 month resub. I appreciate it, dog. How are you, homie? Starts Sunday? I thought it was. Hmm. Alright. Sunday. Fuck. Guess I had my days wrong. My bad, my bad. Made a new Samoyed friend? Yeah, I saw that post. It was in your, your store, right? He nice. Streaming E3, but not Pokemon Direct, dog. I don't give a fuck about Pokemon, homie. <laughs> like, unless, unless they start having shitty, like, skits for Pokemon, I don't care about Pokemon. Big old winter floof running around and sniffing everything. That's what they do. Can you see the Sif Pokemon? Yep. I think it looks like trash. It looks like garbage. Too many fucking weird ass color patterns and too over designed. It could look really cool if they if they calmed the fuck down a little bit with it. The armored crow looks amazing. Like I like the armored crow because it doesn't look like some sort of fucking weird ass abstract art piece. I really like the crow a lot. And it's one of the better Pokemon in general. Let's go on Moto. Bethesda streaming E3. Bethesda. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's gonna be a shit show. I'm gonna play Morrowind while watching the Bethesda conference. Stick it to them, you know? Bethesda Lamau. The last time I streamed E3? Yeah, I was there. I was streaming it. He made a bunch of epic jokes, like, uh, releasing Skyrim for Alexa or whatever the fuck, and it's like, hey, everybody buy File 76. And it was like, yeah! Woo! Dude, what if they announce a Fallout 76 expansion at Bethesda Z3 panel? There's no way, right? No way, right? I 
we'll get booed regardless. True. What's going on, baby? Did you ever get food? It's in the realm of possibilities. I know, and that's why I'm excited for it. It's gonna. I think. It, I think we're gonna have a fun time for you three. Get out of here before you get hurt. I fucking hate those goblins, dude. Yeah, <laughs> fuck it, dude. <laughs> what arm thing, homie? When's E3? Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, apparently. Which I'll, I'll be I'll, I'll be streaming every day of E3. So if you're interested in that. Um, but actually, let me give you a disclaimer. I will make fun of pretty much everything. I Oh, shit. That's kind of scary. I don't, I don't take it very seriously. I think E3 is a, a retard shit show. Um... And I, I treat it as such, so if you want, like, serious coverage of E3, you shouldn't watch me. But if you if you just think it's gonna be dog shit and it's gonna be worth a chuckle, then you should you should hang out, because that's that's what I think. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, dude. Last year was actually the first time I had ever watched an E3, and I, I was actually astounded by how retarded parts of it were. There was some good parts, but... God damn. No, why not? When I was younger, I used to want to go to an E3. Rage 2 shit had me dying. Please, God, let there be another gamer girl coding camp. <laughs> and for Facebook gaming! I hope... I hope Sonic Fox is there. I hope he gives a speech. State of the Union on fighting games. Be fucking epic for the win, my gamer friends. We need more people like that. Just people that make other people upset. Olympic Square talks more about the Final Fantasy VII remake. Does anyone think that shit's gonna be good or nah? The fuck is Facebook Gaming last E3? There were a bunch of advertisements, commercials, for various things, like an all-woman uh, coding camp. Like, um... Just various shit like that, which is fine. There's nothing inherently wrong with that. I don't, I don't give a shit. But it was just... They were they were going for that angle hard. They were, they were... They had a lot of advertisements for shit like that last time. And it made me uncomfortable. Not, not because of, you know... It just felt like pandering, I guess, to, to those demographics of people. That's why it made me feel uncomfortable. Because I think pandering to any demographic is kind of insulting. That's, that's just like my opinion, man. No faith in Final Fantasy anymore. So long as they don't fuck up the game mechanics. What if, what if it has Final Fantasy XIII combat for the big walls? Maybe it, I'd actually play it then. <laughs> you always pander to gamers? I don't, though. I talk shit about every game. Whenever someone asks me, Hey, Tolo, you looking forward to the new game? I'm like, don't know what the fuck that is. Stop talking to me about it. <laughs> that's, that's literally, like, my response 90% of the time, dude. Okay. Um, I actually had something similar to that line of thought that I was going to say, but I forgot what it was. None. I want to know what it was. All right. I actually, I am looking forward to a game. Someone showed it to me a couple streams ago, that Blasphemous game. I saw a trailer today on Twitter, and it looked really, it looked really good. Probably going to play that. Looks really fun. What would it take for you to stream SS13? Not gonna happen, dude. See? Pandering to gamers. There's, there's my pandering to gamers right there. Hey, we, we, I really want you to play this shit. No. Absolutely not. Under no circumstances are we playing video games. Fuck is wrong with you? You do The Last of Us? No. 
Blasphemous looks so sick. It really does. I will play Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing looks dope. Holy shit, what is he doing? You think he wants to give me a handy? Okay. I'm a Dragon's Dogma 2, but I doubt it will ever happen. Give me looking forward to Animal Crossing and Blasphemy. Blasphemy? Blasphemous? Blas Blasphem something. Looks pretty good. It's like a... Like a 2D side-scroller kind of thing with pixel art that doesn't look weird. I, I actually... Perhaps this is an unpopular gamer opinion. But I don't really like most pixel art. I think a lot of it looks really weird. And I don't like it very much. But the pixel art in this game looks good. In my opinion. We'll play Turok. I've played Turok since I was a little fucking shit. All I hear before the ad is, is he giving me a handy? He wasn't. I hate to disappoint you. I don't know what you're referring to by most pixel arts. I won't even say most, but there's some really, really, like... It, it's hard to describe exactly. But minimalistic in a bad way. I, I just don't like a lot of it. Like, they, it just does, seems like they kind of half-assed it, and it isn't really very detailed in a lot of them. Uh, but then you have shit like Blasphemous, which looks really nice and pretty. Uh, and you can tell they put a lot of work into it, and it looks really good. Okay. Do you have any examples? If I was on the Game Jolt website... Yes, I would have examples, because I saw a lot of what I was talking about when I was looking for actual good games, like Arthur in the Woods. I like Hotline Miami-style pixel art, but most games like that look like dog shit. Hotline Miami look good. Um, a lot of the popular pixel art games look good. Turok was the shit. I haven't played the third one. And I want to. I want to play that on stream. Maybe I'll play that on Friday. Just say fuck it and play Turok 3. Yeah, they're popular for a reason? Yeah, yeah, maybe. Thank you, McKees, for the 28 months. I appreciate it, dog. Thank you very much. Play Turok 3? Nah, I don't want to play it anymore. Because Chryson told me to play it. I only, I only want to play games that people don't want to see. How's it been, Toll? Doing good? I mean, I'm existing, dog. I'm chilling. What's an E3 stream schedule in mod chat? Thank you. Is that... Is it time zone adjusted? Because I, I... I have hemorrhages behind my eyes whenever I... I have to do manual time zone translation because I'm fucking stupid. that Arthur dies in the forest, too. Hi, Tolo. Hello, Derive. Okay. Well, our little, our little alchemy trip is finished. I was watching Yu-Gi-Oh! speedrun and saw a card called Prevent Rat and thought of you. You can't prevent the rat. It's fucking impossible. The rat will always rise up and win. You can't get rid of the rats. Thank you very much for the 10 months. I appreciate it with a blade. How are you doing, dog? Doing good. Uh, shit. I feel like I don't have very much of the, the good stuff. The good stuff. Weird legs. I have weird legs too. My body is so strangely proportioned. I look like an asshole. It feels fucking bad, man. Well, that was a fuck up. I'm using your emotes when I talk to my friends now to promote your stream. Thanks, dude. 
Also tell them that I'm very charming and intelligent and I have a great sense of humor. And that I, I respond to everything in chat. And I'm just the best at everything ever, pretty much. And tell them about my PC Gamer articles and my Guinness Book of World Records entry. Um, and tell them I have a really nice dog who, who also does co-commentary sometimes. Yeah, just, just do all that. Please. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so I know I have a drug somewhere. Right here. Magicka by 50 points. Do I have a second one of those? I think I do. I don't remember. I guess I got rid of it. Why am I so slow? Such a slow little reread. Oh shit, Sapphires restore Magicka too? Okay, now we're fucking smoking, dude. Now we're fucking smoking. Both of these are gonna fail, I guarantee it. Garen fucking T, both of these uh, magic potion creation attempts are gonna fail. Watch this. I like how Sapphire's misspelled. It only has one P. Who the fuck named this mod? Yep, both failed. Feels fucking great, man. Mm. What's going on, Lumian? Just a gamer, John. How are you two doing? Cause you're a fucking rock. Goddamn right I am. I'm the best fucking rock you've ever seen. We've gotten at least 20 conjuration levels so far. This shit is easy as hell to level up. Making some good progress. Could be better. Oh, I, you know, me too, dude. Come here and have a seat right next to me, dog. We can talk about gay rat weddings. And uh, how shitty the new Pokemans look. That's a lot of fucking goblins. I don't think I want to go over there. Are you casting a death spell in my chat chomp comp? It's fucked up. Reminds me of CWC. Someone accused CWC of using a death note. He made like this video. Uh, vehemently denying the theory that he was in possession of a death note and using it to kill people such as Billy Mays. That video always makes me fucking laugh, dude. <laughs> the fact that you feel the need to get on and be like, I don't have a death note. Mm, yeah. Slanderous, low-grade adultery. Mm. I'm gonna stop this hatred. Love CWC. Shit's so funny to me. Okay. Eat. We're eating some meth right now. There's a there's a mod that adds methoxytryptamine, which I actually have no fucking idea what that is in real life. If it is indeed anything in real life, it sounds like it's something in real life. Uh. But it gives us mana restoration, so it's really good. That's why we want it. My basement flooded? That fucking sucks, dude. Basements sound like they're more trouble than they're worth, honestly. Never, I never hear anyone talk about how glad they are to have a basement and how good the basement is. It's always getting flooded or it's got, like, an infestation or retards. Whatever the fuck. Like, there's a hobo squatting in my basement. Sounds like a bad time. What about a Chris Chan rat emote? Can this be a rat with a wound? I don't know if I like that. What's going on, human aim, Badu? Who rule quiet, y'all? Because we all live in the basement? I don't have a basement. I've actually never seen a house that had a basement before. What's good, Petey? I had a new bug bite on my neck that I just discovered. You want to scratch it? Giant tornado passed by where I went. That sucks, dude. Thankfully, they don't have a big... They don't have a big AOE. I've had a tornado less than a mile from my house, but nothing happened, thankfully. Okay. I'm restore Magicka. That's what I need. 
I could go steal from the Mage's Guild chest, and I won't get kicked out because I'm, I'm not part of the Mage's Guild. Could also buy the materials to make some. I think I'll do that. Casual? I'm sorry. Soil in Texas is harder than diamonds. You know what else is harder than diamonds? Dark Souls. <laughs> you thought I was going to say something else, didn't you, you little scamps? Mmm. Are you going to say Cuphead? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Never played Cuphead. Maybe one of these days. There's a lot of games that I haven't played. So I need to play Bayonetta too. In Kenshi. A professional RuneScape player in my basement? Tell just tell just tell Wickwix that Mario Maker 2 is coming out. And he needs to practice for it. And get him out in no time. Not gonna lie, you had me in the first half. I know I did. What's going on, Militia? Finish Bayonetta 1? Fuck no, dude. Got pissed because everyone was giving me shit when I streamed it. I said, fuck this. I'm gonna go play something else. I played fucking Dark Souls the next time I streamed. Oh. But I'm gonna play it again. I'll just have to play with chat off, probably. Eating meatloaf? Yes, cheese it meatloaf. Doesn't that sound delicious? Nice Snorlax emote. Tutton, come on. That's how I read your name now. I know I know that's probably not what you intended, but I always read the second half of your name like DSPs. Come on, dude. Kenshi's a good game. I love the detail graphics. The only good game is Morrowind. There's something brown on it. It's probably put barbecue sauce or some bullshit on. Amanda, are you still awake? I don't know if she fell asleep or not. She's the one who sent me the picture and told me it was a cheese and meatloaf. She'll know the details better than me. I'll watch that shit unless she's around. Turn the sound effects back on. Do you guys really want to hear me summon the skeleton over and over? Is that something you actually want? Yes. The fuck's wrong with you. <laughs> okay. I, I guess I can do that. What's going on, Acid Fireboom? It's terrible, dude. I hate this fucking noise. Like, this is why I don't like leveling magic. There's just so much noise happening right now. Dude, what the fuck is following me? Jesus Christ, this... Lady. It's very fast. Dude, fucking Christ, look at that speed. Sanic Hedgehog was a girl. This bitch. What the fuck? All oh, right. If I have this belt on and I'm zero fatigue and I take it off, I'm stunned for like ten seconds. Hello, a mama. Amanda, ever respond? If you if you did, baby, just respond again because I didn't see. It's too busy getting fucked. Let's put on dirty pair of socks. Make a mod for the skeletons to say your act from fear and hunger. I was thinking about making a, a mod where all of the goblins' noises are little ice Poseidon noises. Like, yeah, fuck you, dude. What are they, homie? 
Uh, but with how often we encounter the goblins, I feel like that shit would get really annoying really quickly. They're like the most frequent enemy in the goddamn game, so it would be like a non-stop Ice Poseidon montage. What? Okay, what's... What's in the, uh, the cheese it meatloaf or whatever the fuck on that one episode that you sent me? Can you explain all of the shit that was in the cheese it meatloaf? Because chat's curious. Look at all my effects that I have, Jesus Christ. I think the goblins gnome noises. I already gave something gnome noises, though. This is my last thing. I need to... Oh, shit. It's literally floating in my face. I'm fucking stupid. What's your mana at now? 93. Decided to go take an adventure into Soul's Time to get a unique robe that gives me a fuck ton of negative effects, but actually gives me enough boost to cast spells. Because that's pretty cool. Okay. And I've gotten almost 30 conjuration levels since I got the robe. So we're, we're getting in this shit. Character still in the shackles of poverty. 3.5 thousand gold, so not, not poor, per se, but not exactly well off either. We're distinctly middle class. Isn't that guy literally exiled from California? You say that like it's a bad thing, dude. Like, getting exiled from California? If it wasn't for Amanda being there, I would be like, fuck yeah. That's, that's like a badge of honor that you wear with pride. It's fucking awesome, if you ask me. Shit. Summon Skeleton was worth it in the end. You should always trust me. I'm never wrong on anything, ever. I think she mixed the meat with seasonings and crushed cheese it's on top of barbecue. I think it was her secret juggalo recipe. That's the worst fucking thing I've ever heard you say. <laughs> Secret Juggalo recipe. That's fucked up. Thank you. Thank you for uh, reminding me. No problem, Nightmare. You're wrong on onions? You can't be wrong on a, on a taste, though. It's not how that works. So I should probably be striving towards one goal or another. Like, I'm casting magic, but I should probably be doing other shit, too. They go back and get my Dwarven Axe. I don't remember where I put that. Is it down here next to everything? I don't, I'm not sure it is. Fuck. Just drop that shit and I have no idea where. I'm, I'm uh... Smartest. What's going on in Nanner Boy? You're littering? Fuck yes, I am. I love littering. All these microplastics are gonna kill all the slaughter fish. That's what I'm that's why I'm putting all this shit on the ground. Microplastics? Yeah, dude. I saw something on the internet today that says that we, we ingest a lot of microplastics, like 50,000 particles a year or something like that. I don't know how much that equates to in real units. I don't know what the fuck a particle is. Like, I don't, I don't, for all, I, I'm pretty stupid, so maybe that's like a genuine, uh, a genuine unit well, of measurement, but I don't know what the fuck it would be. Like, I don't know what a particle would be.
Like a very small onion? Why do you gotta say shit like that, dude? Fast food probably has most microplastics. Apparently, if you drink bottled water, you have, like, almost double the amount. So that's pretty cool. Anyone in here drink bottled water? You're turning into a plastic golem. I hope you're happy with that. Thank you, Beardy, for the six months. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you, thank you, gamer. Can I become a plastic elemental? Yeah, go for it. Seems I'm gonna die soon enough. I wonder what's gonna kill me. What if Craddock ends up coming to my house and assassinating me one day? What if Cry hires a hitman on me? What, what if Cry's chat slash Discord starts a GoFundMe to get up enough Bitcoin to hire a hitman on me? You have a bat? Yeah. It's metal. Me? I know you drink a lot. Woman goes through like 48 bottled waters. <laughs> hire a counter assassin? Cry kills you and frames Craddock. I wonder what that dude's up to. Wonder if he he turned around and he's respectable now. Put a sock on the tip of the bat so if they grab your bat, you can get it away from them. That's the most retarded shit I've ever heard, but it's funny because I can see it actually working. Drink bottled water exclusively. It's not expensive here. But you're polluting the environment, Apalapool. What the fuck? Are you, you guys want me to turn the sound effects off yet? By the way, are you tired of hearing the jump scare noise? Fuck no. Oh my god. Need the sound. Okay, okay. Playing with Tamriel Rebuilt? No, but I'm playing with a bunch of fucked up mods that add land masses every which way. Like, this is a Russian town. Um, full, complete with, like, uh, wood elves and tracksuits. Try to shank you with a screwdriver or a balalaika or whatever the fuck. But this, they're also insanely powerful and they one-shot my character. You can't exactly go there yet. I gotta sneeze. Volume warning. It's, it's coming. <coughs> Excuse me. I got sniff. Oh. You know, blow up my eardrums. I tried to make it quiet. Thank you, Channing Lemon. Tolo, be proud of me. I haven't had any alcohol today. Why is that a reason to be proud of you, dude? Get fucking drunk. Still can't wait for the year 2030 when Tolo was run out of Morrowind mods and has to resort to doing moral and speed runs. I'll probably be dead by this time next year. I wouldn't make plans to 2030. I think, I think next year is finally gonna be the year where I overdose on Diet Coke. Hold on, I gotta mute my mic and blow my nose. But yeah, either either the Diet Coke or the Hot Cheetos. You're just gonna wake up one day and Sif's gonna have typed a Twitter message, like, you know, yo dog. Tolo's dad. He's fucking gone. Damn, she really doesn't like me, huh? I need that debt money. What? I don't like the way her chest expanded. Not 35, dude. I'm 26. What's this about? I'm not gonna be 35 next year. That'd be crazy. I think 
think I'm a, you think I'm an actual dinosaur that I got spines on my back? Lorecta Diet Coke while in Africa for you. Okay, dude. Wow. I'm so honored, Mama. Oh. Ooh, hold on. I gotta rub my eyes. Pretty sleepy. I got five hours of sleep again today. Said, I, I'm, but I also said next year. Next year is when I think I'm gonna die. DSP third marriage live streaming when you're dead. Damn. You don't you don't you don't think that his marriage is solid? My personality's thirteen. What's going on, Grenier? Hopefully to die before thirty from liver failure. It is time to take a break from summoning skeletons, and we're gonna we're gonna go gallivant around and level our personality. This is just a leveling stream. We're power leveling shit today. Hello, Collins. DSP, DSP's married, dude. What the fuck you mean, homie? Cool. Twenty six. Can't wait for little DSP. What do you think DSP is gonna name his kid? I hope he names him uh, after Ryu from Street Fighter. That'd be really dope. Kyle, why the fuck you guys saying Kyle? I really would have to change my name then. Hank's a Kyle. Shovel's a Kyle. DSP's child is a Kyle. I, I think at that point, I have to I have to throw in the fucking towel and change my name. What do you think I should change my name to? Kyle. All right, cool. Kylie, Jimin. I like Jimin. Would you guys still love me if my name was Jimin? Donald. Donald's also pretty good. No? Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Even if I sang K-pop songs for you? I know some I know some K-pop songs I can sing for you. You guys want to hear one? I don't know any BTS K-pop songs. Yes, all right. Bang, bang, bang! Bang, bang, bang! Bang, bang, bang! Yeah, I'm a chuma! I'm a chuma! I'm a chuma! It's my, it's my K-pop song. I hope you liked it. Bang, bang, bang! It's a real song, by the way. What's going on, Infinite Failure? See, I, I could, I could become part of the K-pop furry group. I, I might as well be Jimin, right? When is the album coming out? Well, I'm actually gonna be featured on CWC's uh, Sonic and the Hedgehog Boys Volume Five, so you can you can check that out if you'd like. K-pop is an abomination. Not for the music. Some unpopular opinion. Some K-pop's actually kind of cool. But I would never, ever, ever, ever fucking admit it. Like, to someone. Like, it's, it's my stream and I've admitted to far worse things. But that shit is like... I don't know, dude. You just well, I mean to like people in real life. Like you guys, I don't know you guys in real life. I don't. I don't have to see you and your your looks of disgust in the flesh. 
secretly listen to K-pop? No, but I've heard K-pop songs before that I didn't hate. That is quite enough. Fuck. Even furries avoid K- No, that's not true, Yamable. We were just talking, uh, last stream, how there's the first ever K-pop furry band coming out, and they're making their debut today, actually. I think they're- their song is called Firstagram. Let me see if I can find the fucking, uh, Twitter account. Like, maybe it's out yet and we can- or out now and we can listen to it. Firstagram. K-pop. BTS Kings of K-pop is the first result. I don't... I don't know where the fuck... Hold on. Alright, here we go. Let's check this shit out. Fur Girls Official. Oh, the account's tweets are protected. What the fuck? Gee, I wonder why. That's a that's a puzzle. That's that's a fucking mystery. I, I think we're gonna have to get uh, I'm, we're gonna have to get that unsolved mysteries. I don't, know, I don't know why they would protect their tweets. It's fucking weird. Ooh, 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 ooh. So most of the songs are incredibly derivative, and the videos all look the same. I mean, you could you could levy the same criticisms against our pop, though. Like that's that has less to do with the K-pop side of things and more just the pop side of things. I think, and I don't, I, I don't think that's necessarily uh, a bad thing. If you're gonna stand any K-pop songs, listen to Luna. They won a freaking MTV. I will say one thing. I will say one thing. I think I would rather gouge my eyeballs out and strangle my own cock with my optic nerves than to ever describe myself as standing anything. Uh, that's just like, I, that, that word is a pet peeve of mine. If you say it, that's fine. I have no problem with you. But I would never say that I stand anything because that shit. I actually, uh,. I don't know. I have like a I have an aversion to that word. Or that term. Just not 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 my thing. Standing mean it basically means you're a super fan, I guess. Like you really fucking you really fucking like if you if you went into someone else's stream and said, bitch, Tolomeo's the fucking best, which nobody's ever said. Uh, but hypothetical situation. You would be you would be standing me. Mm, apparently it originated from an Eminem song, but it's weird to me, because I only see K-pop people use it. Derived from a, the 2000 hip-hop song Stand by the American rapper Eminem, a fictional account of the rapper's encounter with an overly... Uh, right, like, they actually say overly obsessive fan like it's a good thing. Like, it's a good thing to be that. Which is... Am I the only one who thinks that's weird? That people people make it out like it's a good thing to, to be an obsessive fan of something? I don't know. An ironic term? No, it is not at all used ironically. Not even a little bit. Not even one <laughs> iota. Say Tolomeo's the best streamer I know, even to the face of my stream friend. Yeah, you better rub it in his face. Like you think your streams are good, you little slut? Fucking Tolomeo's the best. You'll, you'll never, you'll never even be a hair on his nutsack, you little bitch. Tolomeo, you know what? He played fucking Neko Muse Potty Trouble. What the fuck have you done, you little punk? I'm just playing. Don't, don't. That would, that would actually be like a. That would piss me off. Like I actually get really. Uh, it, it, it annoys me when people, like, try to, try to fucking, like, you know, who the, the fucking best streamer is, Tol. Like, this is the best streamer ever. You should, you should watch him. Like, fuck you. I'm the best, bitch. Suck my cock. 
Because everyone should think they're the best. Because it's natural. That's what this what should happen. And thank you, Stull, for putting, uh... Dang it. In the cuck shed. I, I meant to respond to that. But I forgot until just now. Is that the person who you're, who you're backseat gaming? You talk shit about K-pop, their fans will be- No, for real, they're the craziest group of people on the internet right now. 100 fucking percent. You- you want- Do you remember the period of internet time where- Let's say you enjoyed anything, alright? Hypothetical. Like, let's say you enjoy Breaking Bad, okay? Like, you like the show, you like the characters, you think it's pretty good, it's got problems, but you, you like Breaking Bad, you enjoy it. You like that show. And you go on the internet- and if you looked up stuff on Breaking Bad, almost invariably you would find uh, shit like uh, Walter White as a pony, Jesse Pinkman with his blue, uh, his blue meth cutie mark, and it's just like, oh my god, oh, oh my god, I don't want to be on the fucking internet anymore, dude. K-pop people are like that, except worse. Like, there's a little game that I made for myself that you guys can try too. Next time you like a like a any event happens. Like let's let's say a celebrity dies, okay? Let's let's say tomorrow Ariana Grande dies. Alright? And if you were to go to the hashtag about Ari Ariana Grande's death, you will see people shilling their favorite K-pop group in the hashtags for that. It's like Ariana Grande died, but she's not as good as fucking Jim, and so who gives a fuck? Like, you will see shit like that. They, it, it is so pervasive in every aspect of that website that it really reminds me of bronies on fucking PCP. It's impressive. It's it's interesting, to say the least. Because I waste a lot of time on Twitter. Like, uh, I would suggest never fucking following me on Twitter... If you're afraid of me, like, just randomly clicking your profile, because I often do that. I often click on random hashtags. Like, I get really fucking bored. Um, as, like, I was I was going through the Pokemon hashtags earlier, because I'm like, what the fuck happened with this? And I saw, like, fuck tons of K-pop bullshit there, too. And so I'm, I'm waiting for the day where someone someone gets mad at me for saying piss slut Jim and comes to my house and fucking kills me. Maybe that's how I'm going to die. Be fucked up, huh? Thank you, Neko Kurakawa, for the 29 month resub, dog. How are you doing today? Korea and Japan have huge idols, band systems, that incentive people to be psycho fans, though. I'm not good at explaining it poor English. I think your English is just fine, dude. I, I understand what you're saying 100%. Most crazy thing I've ever heard from K-pop stands is BTS fans saying that BTS isn't... Dude, okay. What was that rapper who died recently? Not not this year, but last year. Like, he got shot or something. Temptation. XXX Temptation. I remember specifically seeing a thread where, where they were saying shit like... Temptation may have been shot and died, but he hasn't even... Like, that doesn't even come close... To, uh, matching the pain that our, our BTS babies have felt over their time in the music industry. And it's like, what the fuck? And you would think that's bullshit. That sounds like retarded parody bullshit, right? That, that sounds like there's no way. But you look at their account and you're like, oh no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no 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 oh no 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 And then you fucking delete your Twitter, dude. Temptation? I don't know how the fuck to pronounce his name. I'm sorry. Tentation? Tenta I see you favor a little crime. Hmm. Perhaps I should let the authorities know. Fuck you! I've trifled with you long enough. You are the authority. Yet another reminder to stray away from social media. The only social media I have besides Twitch is Twitter. I, I got it for my stream. Before I started streaming, I had no social media whatsoever. No Facebook, no MySpace, no Instagram. No Snapchat. I love K-pop. That's fine. You can you can love K-pop. I, I understand why people like it. If I was, uh... 
You know, maybe maybe if I was like two years old, I would like it. I'm not just playing. Um, but no, a lot of it's good. It's just it's just really. It's one of those things where even even if I like hear were to hear a K-pop song, I'm like, yeah, this shit's pretty good. I would feel bad about it, you know, because of what what people who like K-pop are like. Little nap keeps the police away. Absolutely. Fuck! I tried clicking that button like twenty times. And I missed every time. Discord social media? Yes, I, I guess I have Discord too. Patreon is social media? I don't have Patreon. I, I mean when I say I have a Patreon. When are you updating our fat world waifu? You know, maybe I'll just put your your uh, your rat pageant entry in there. What is that large woman eating? Cheese at meatloaf. K-pop and K-pops, it overshadows the actual unique. Unique. I mean, let make it quick. I guess. But if people enjoy it, that's, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. When is the Discord icon gonna be animated? I don't wanna do that shit because I don't wanna support I don't wanna support the boosting of servers thing. Like, what the fuck is that? Is that a little fairy? What's going on, Vice? Who do you think's gonna win? Nothing has ever beat the guards in these battles so far. Nope. Midge Imp. Otter Pop Sword? No, I don't I can't get the Otter Pop Sword yet. Look at this guy. Take himself a little too seriously. Come on, I haven't got all day. You know. Stick up your ass. Two of you won that wasn't fair. Sure it was. I gotta get the bounty off of my head. I think that's tanking my disposition with people. You get lost now? Okay. Chat, should I get lost now? Yes or no? Well met, Outlander. What is it? Not with you, no answer I get the most. Of course. What may I do for you? On Blu-ray? God damn it, you're talking about actual lost. What the fuck's wrong with you? Make me a sweet and spicy bacon burger casserole? Absolutely not. Fresh game. Actually, this game was made in 2002. It's weird that people don't just immediately call me a retard and tell me to die now. Shit like that reminds me of Epic Meal Time and Enjoy. It's so weird that, like, the old guard of YouTube is just falling like fucking dominoes now, it feels. One of. I, I, I don't know, just all these. All these. Titans that I remember being on YouTube are nowhere to be seen anymore. I remember when Fred was the biggest YouTuber. I, I lived through that era of YouTube. Except DSP, of course. Except for DSP. That shit's long gone yet. Is, is the annoying orange still around? No, thank god. I hated the fucking annoying orange, even back then. I hated Fred, too. I hated most of that shit. Okay. Strafing like a god? That's me. I look pretty, pretty sexy now. Would you let me manhandle you? Okay. Oh, 
Fred the movie was the pinnacle of modern media. Oh yeah, that happened. That's terrible. Annoying orange YouTube uploaded 11 hours ago. What the fuck? Do you change your race? No, I'm still a golem. I'm still a wee little retard. Cool, we got a quest we can do. I know how to do this one, too. This one's easy. Just checked on the whole PewDiePie vs. T-Series thing. Oh, my God. People are still talking about that shit, huh? What's the Otter Pop sword? The Stallrim sword. I was gonna get it, but I don't think my personality is high enough to join the East Empire Company stall. What are you gonna do, right? I'm gonna see if my, my axe is in my house. Ever see the annoying orange show that Tabuskis was in? I have, honestly, aside from maybe the very first 20 seconds of discovering them, never watched a video from either annoying orange or Tabuskis. Like, that's the kind of shit that I see, and I immediately click something else. I, I, I'm like, oh god, ew. You're lucky then. I am very lucky. I got a nice little little dog right here who's who's laying down on her back with all of her paws in the air. She looks comfy. Who was your favorite YouTuber back in the day? Fuck. Um Oh, I, I actually do have a real answer. I was thinking of people I actually watched, but my answer is probably, like, the most embarrassing that I can possibly give. I, like, I, I've, I actually hate this fucking question. I hate you for asking, but it was the Amazing Atheist. Back in the fucking day when I was 14 and I was having a lot of issues with religion in my life. I went to YouTube to find al alternative viewpoints, and I found the fucking amazing atheist, and I ended up watching him shove a banana up his ass and all sorts of weird shit. So, you know, I was I, I was a youngin. We all we all make mistakes. I I used to watch a lot of the uh, quote unquote YouTube atheism community. I watched Thunderfoot. I watched Fake Sagan. I watched uh, Manix the Pirate. Um, Paul's Ego. Now, don't watch any of that shit. Back in the day, I used to watch quite a bit of it. It's not that bad. I think it's pretty bad. Thank you, Chronovores, for the Prime sub. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you very much. Enjoy the, uh, enjoy the rats. Forgotten about banana atheist? But have you forgotten about hot oil atheist? There you are. You little rapscallion. Is the guy that animated llamas with hats? I actually have no idea who you're referring to. Is that the dude who did the Charlie the Unicorn shit? Wasn't that bad? I just want to know what kind of content you enjoy. Well, that's the thing. I say it a lot on my stream, and I'm not, I'm, 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 I'm not memeing when I say it. I really did not like YouTube gamers or Twitch gamers very much until I ended up becoming a, a Twitch gamer. Um, I don't really like that sort of content very much. Like there, it, it's not that I think that they're bad or anything, but it's just not up my alley for the most part. Ever watch those non-YouTube animation creators like Ed's World? No. Charlie the Unicorn was prime humor back in the day. It's like, who did we have for gaming back when Annoying Orange was a thing? That was before you could, like, monetize gaming videos and shit, right? So you had, like, DSP filming things with his fucking camcorder. Um, and PewDiePie playing Happy Wheels. I guess you had, like, the, the yeah, Machinima, like, the, uh... People making World of Warcraft AMVs and shit. Yogscast was... Dude, Minecraft is... 
I'm talking like five to seven years before Minecraft was a thing, though. Maybe not that. When did Minecraft come out? Make me feel old. Two thousand nine. Okay, so maybe not five years. God, two thousand and nine. Jesus Christ. Fuck me. Old YouTube was shit. I think the layout was better though. I agree with you, content wise, but I think the layout was way, way better. Oh hey. Game. I like Minecraft. No meme. I think Minecraft's fucking sick. I want to do a Minecraft server for the stream one of these days. I think that would be a lot of fun until someone built a lava penis in my woods. You like Terraria? Yeah, Terraria's pretty good. Be like 15 minutes of fun, hey, hey. You know? You gotta get it where you can. Only guy I still sort of like from then is Yahtzee, but not a whole lot. The only thing I know about Yahtzee, I think he's the guy who played Demon Souls when it first came out and got really pissed at it and called the Phalanx like a cow pat and got really mad at the games and said they were shit. Is that the same dude? Remember building a labyrinth? I, I made a huge ass forest and my friend made a gigantic lava cock in me? the middle of it. I was so mad, dude. Pressure in his Souls games and hated them, then he came back to them on his own time and loved them. That's fair. So they made the PC Master Race meme. Here's the ring, dude. Enjoy it. I hate you, Fargoth. Say it. Can't you see I wish to be left alone? That's not what I wanted you to say. Minecraft is a great game. I'm just ADD is all hell, so I can't play it for shit. Then I had sponge blocks behind the walls to prevent flooding, so the person destroyed it from the inside and flooded it anyway. Why do you play with those people? Why would you do something like that? Like, why do you voluntarily subject yourself to things like that? I was young, Tolo? You know what's actually really fucking weird to me? A lot of people, when they played Minecraft, were legitimately, like, children, even back then. Really young. Maybe not even children, but, like, teenagers. It's strange to me. Like that's that's a lot of people's childhood game, whereas my childhood game was fucking more one in the game. Can you teach me about the Chilean premature child program? No. Why the fuck would I know anything about that, dude? I don't know enough about my own programs here in America. Minecraft is timeless? True. Because you're smart? I'm not. Listen to me. I talk like a sedated cow. Just an asshole. Why do you think butter perforated every YouTube channel comment section for three years? <laughs> oh, fucking up. I don't... That, that's where they got, like, the golden blocks and called it butter in Minecraft, right? God, I fucking hate Minecraft. By another. Questions again. Changed my mind. That game's terrible. Moonscape is also my childhood game. That's some good shit, dude. Moonscape's the best. Okay, so I need to talk to this lady about the asshole's ring. I wonder if we could do Skylands now. He just got pissed at you for giving him money? Yeah, I'm trying to raise my speechcraft, but I'm... I have the personality of, uh... 
I was gonna say, I don't have a lot of personality. I forgot about that, I hate Minecraft. No, yeah, exactly, dude. Like, people... People ruin everything. Did I talk to you about this already? I did. You free to play in RuneScape? Fuck no. It takes, like, one hour to make money to buy a bond in that game. Why the fuck would I be free to play? I'm an elite gamer. Personality would be improvement for your character. No, I'm actually at 43 with the mask. This mask it gives me 30 points to personality. It's pretty banging. Let's try. Let's try admiring the guards. Oh yeah, the guards like it when you butter them up. I fucking love that Anytime. shit. I want you to rub them all over. Mask looks like it should be minus 20, but look at my actual face though. What's going on, Residentian? Look at this shit. What's better, this or the mask? Hello, cute stars. Where did the name Tolomeo come from? Uh, Venom Crash had a mech called Tolomeo that I always played, basically. Remember when I was a very small child, I thought bad persuasion meant you were stealing Magicka when you interacted with people? That's fair. I, I had a lot of weird misconceptions about this game when I was a little one, too. Like, I had this one really weird misconception where I thought killing women and, and taking all of their clothes off in front of my parents was a good idea. And they would let me keep playing the game if I did that in front of them. So, you know. You know, kids do the darndest things. What? You heard me. Did I stutter? Can't you see I Stay out of trouble and you won't get hurt. Damn, the Imperial Legion is fairly easy to butter up in comparison. Okay. It explains so much, does it? Does it really? Little Tolo and his antics? Yeah, he's, he's gonna be the next Charles Manson. I was one year old when Morrowind came out. Did you play it, though? You pronounce the full thing what? The name? Mom, can look at this Dark Elf's tits, Lamal. I should. Yeah. Yes, uh... Supposedly it's Tolomeo. Like, shitty mayonnaise brand. But I say Tolomeo. Because I'm, I'm, I have a speech impediment. Is Tolo a millennial? Honestly, I don't know what the fuck generation I belong to. I've never really given a shit about the generation thing. It's never really mattered to me. Seems like a stupid thing to give a shit about, honestly. You're a millennial? Okay. Good to know. I don't even like avocado, I think it's terrible. Generations don't have a definitive set and end date. People always act like they do for some reason. Literally everyone's a boomer these yeah, I get called a boomer now, but that's just an internet meme. Label changes so much I just stop caring. Good thing you don't like avocados, they're gonna get five percent more expensive on Monday. That's that's terrible. My heart goes out to anyone who likes avocado, except for the people who put it on sushi. You guys can go fuck yourselves. Sorry. Oh, what the fuck? What the hell just drained my fatigue? I'm just gonna die for no reason now. Okay. So I need to keep that in mind, that there's there's something that just damages my fatigue and knocks me the fuck down in the dark. God damn it. What's wrong with that? 
I feel like avocado and sushi is literally just there to to fill it basically without actually adding anything of substance, anything that tastes good or improves the sushi roll in any way. It's like a shittier version of the rice almost. Just fucking worthless. One thing about eating Tide Pods, people acted like us 1998 to 2002 people. Dude, what the fuck? Again? Hold on. I gotta have something here that's gonna... Yeah, just, just drink this shit. Oh. Is this ghost like... No yeah, he's got like a billion speed. What the fuck? That's why I can't outrun him. Alright. Where's this fucking ghost? Where'd he go? He's oh. Very spooky. Please wait. I'm serving another customer right now. Good, yeah. Everyone just wants my asshole tonight. How does ketchup sushi even work? Have you seen the, the hot Cheeto sushi? That shit. Abomination. Abomination. What's the yellow bar above your health? That's enemy HP. Uh, that's why it only pops up when I'm hitting something. Okay. Pull it up on stream? No, I don't want to look at it. It makes me upset. To a sushi place the other day and they had peanut butter and jelly sushi. Tell me you're joking. No. Look it up, dude. Literally, it's as simple as Google Hot Cheeto Sushi. I've seen it at HEB. Crush it up and put... Yeah, they put it on top. They put it on the top. It's fucked up. I love Hot Cheetos and I'm never eating that shit. No fucking way. One of the most asinine things I've ever seen in my entire goddamn life. Like, I, I could see Takashi69's ass, and I would still think the hot Cheeto sushi is more asinine. That's how fucked up it is. I don't know who eats it. Like, I don't know who the target demographic is. It's the best sushi, I think. Anything with spicy tuna. Spicy tuna is amazing. Salmon's also really good, too. Uh, I can never remember the names of the rolls and shit, though. Wow, she doesn't like me. Spicy salmon or spicy anything? Spicy tuna sounds dope. I love spicy. It gives me the big nut. Green tuna with ketchup? Why the fuck would you say that to me? It's like asking if I've ever sounded myself in casual conversation. It's like, no, I haven't, asshole. Fuck you, dude. <laughs> what are you talking about? Ask me if I put A1 steak sauce on, on a $50 steak, too? I did. It wasn't that bad. I don't believe. You've been running around summoning skeletons a while. Tried Lucky Charms with mayo? God damn it. Some You guys are gonna give me a fucking anal hemorrhage just thinking about this shit. You guys just want me to fucking die. Not hungry anymore, right? I'm gonna die. I just killed myself because of the sun damage. I was Costco today, and I saw youth dabbing and yelling dab on the haters. Good shit, dude. That's what I'm talking about. What about onion sushi? No. Peanut butter pickles and honey on toast. Alright. Okay, dude. I wish I could just... All right, right now, I'm going to transmit the picture of Funky Kong on a hoverboard saying, Okay, retard at you. 
I hope you're picturing it in your head, Lucas. I hope you're picturing it really fucking hard, because that's the message I'm sending to you. My log plate is 109, dude. Okay, so let's let's rest again and get interrupted. One of these days we're gonna be able to fight this guy. What about mayo on toast? I hate mayonnaise. That's one of the things that I actually hate more than fucking onions is mayonnaise. Go we'll find a glass hand. Okay, I'll get right on that, dude. Let's just let me hold on a second. <laughs> let me let me go get that. Just find a glass hand axe. You don't like fried onions? Fuck no, I don't. I'm notorious around in my own stream for being an onion hater. People don't like the fact that I dislike onions. So we gotta go back to the Imperial Fort now. Garlic? I love garlic. Garlic's so good. Garlic's amazing. The mushrooms? They're alright. I would prefer not to have them, but I, they don't really bother me. Soft mayo mixed in with ketchup is actually really good, but just mayo is disgusting to me. That's actually what I fucking hate about uh, Wendy's. Is they put mayonnaise on their shit by default, so I always forget to ask to take it off, and then I get this foul cum slime on my burger. I have to like scrape it off, but it's a sauce, so it's, you still get the residue. Garlic is a form of onion, is it really? I didn't know that. Learn something new every day. Rings are amazing. I hate onion rings. I don't like onions. Tartar sauce? Side. Foul cum slime? I mean, that's what mayonnaise is. You might as well just... Might as well go to the fucking glory hole with the triple meat, triple cheese, and be like, hey, you can come on my burger. Tastes the fucking same, I bet. Not that I would know what comeuppance tastes like, but I can't imagine it's any worse than fucking mayonnaise. Mm. God damn. Fatty tuna? Tuna in general is amazing. I love tuna. I even like the shitty canned tuna. Probably do know what it tastes. No, I actually don't. And I'm fucked up. I would admit if I did. Like, there's no shame in, in knowing... There, there is no shame in having a cocktail of Fanta and semen. And chugging that shit down. In fact, I wish I did. Because that would be a great story to tell. Maybe I should do that sometime. Matter does it make you eat your own cum? No. Me and Amanda tried to be wizards, dude. Never taste your own cum? No, that's I don't I don't wanna fucking do that. Why would you taste that shit? Do, do you guys do that? Is that a normal thing to do? Because I've never done it. For some reason, I don't like mustard. I, I appreciate you coming in in the middle of the semen-eating conversation to uh, air out your disdain towards mustard. I appreciate you. <laughs> like, God bless you, dude. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry that it's probably difficult to navigate around these conversations right now. Mustard's okay, but only when it's accompanied by ketchup, in my opinion. I don't like mustard by itself. Honey mustard is the shit, in my opinion. Honey butter is what gets my pussy popping. Fucking love honey butter. I could, I, I could slather that all over my nipples and break my neck to lick it off. I'd fucking do it. Never heard of honey butter? I think it's like a Whataburger thing. 
an asshole who squirts the mustard right into his mouth? I don't like that. Mustard's okay unless it's that cheap, but I'm inducing spicy mustard. You know what else Whataburger has? Spicy ketchup. Delicious. I actually have a bottle of that in my in my cupboard now. It's your favorite food steak. A good steak? Oh my god, dude. Absolutely delectable. Delicious. Yummy! How do you make ketchup spicy? Add vinegar to it. Okay. Let me take my robe off and then he'll like me more. How do I talk to him about the... Yeah, careless travelers. Cool. Latest rumors. Little advice. Little secret. What stranger? Hold on. Bad people. Yeah, we gotta talk to the bad people. In a Texas Roadhouse? Yeah, that's pretty good. Favorite way to have a steak cooked? Medium rare. Medium rare bone in ribeye. Or get the fuck out from me. I love bone in steak. It's so good. What if we're gonna have their own ketchup brand? Yes, actually. Yes, they do. Steak with steamed broccoli and potatoes. I stole 250,000 gold and the Elder Scrolls 2 multiplayer and a mod intervene. That's fucked up, dude. How'd you steal that shit? Like, where did, where, did they have it hide, like, hidden in some dumbass place? Straight up medium, but ribeye is always the best flavored cut. Medium's okay, but I prefer medium rare. Fuck ranch? I actually agree. I don't like ranch either. That's another... Like, that's hate speech to say, by the way. You can't just... You can't just say you don't like ranch on the internet. People will fucking eat you alive. But I don't. He's nasty. Doing a deal in the open? Nice. What are the, uh... Are, are there, like, super populated servers for that shit? Is it, is it fun to play in? Later a paddle plu, take it easy, dog. Ranches for illiterate folk and smooth brained individuals. Well, I don't like it, so that doesn't make any sense. So how do you feel about dipping hot wings in ranch? Does anyone actually do that? It's always been really nasty to me. My server has 20 players on it at all times. Most cities are mostly populated. I still feel like 20 would be really small for the world of Morrowind. Like, maybe you'd see people in Balmora and places that are high traffic. But goddamn, like, actually meeting someone out in the wilderness but it must, must be such a rare thing. Alright. Holy shit, they're pissed! Hold on. Hold on, do I have something dope here? I'm looking to see if I have a, a big-ass AoE spell or something. I think I might have screwed the pooch on this one. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna heal a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and take a take a little a little nappy wappy. One order of mig gangbang, please. Basically, a necessity for cheap heb wings because the dry rub usually. I don't like dry rub on wings. I always like the just drenched in sauce. 
That's why I like boneless wings a lot, is you, you cover that shit in sauce and eat the entire thing. Just pop that bitch in your mouth. they make. Oh, we... I'm sorry, I don't like tomatoes. Tomatoes are alright. Well, Gil, did you just fuck up? These are the racists of Morrowind. These are the dudes who, are uh, make fucked up posts on Reddit. So we can't, we can't allow them to live. Mm -mm. No, sir. Absolutely. Ten lock picks? Holy fuck, I nut. Seem kind of strong? No, I'm very strong. I'm ripped as fuck. I'm going to bed, you ranch haters, Pyroman. Have you ever considered the possibility that your consumption of ranch is why you're, you are the way you are? Why don't you join them? Because I don't like racism. It's fucked up, dude. It's a bunch of assholes. Mansion comes serve the same purpose to Pyro. I feel like they save, serve the same purpose for most people. Love Ranch and I'm a model citizen. I don't know if I agree with that. I don't know if I would call you a model citizen. What about fried pickles? I haven't had them, but I'd probably like them. I, I like almost everything pickle related. Um, I, I enjoyed the pickle slushy from Sonic even, which is... Many, many people consider that to be blasphemy. To even think about consuming one of those. But I thought it was pretty fucking good. Why is that a thing? It probably doesn't even taste remotely similar to what you're thinking. Pickles ruin every burger. I feel that way about onions. Name one thing that makes me not a model citizen. One time you took a picture of me, photoshopped it to be just my nose, and made it your Twitch.television affiliate emo. I fucked up. This dude's Get not on. gonna talk to me. Normally you're supposed to finish his quest, and he, he takes the bounty off. Uh-oh. I'm gonna have to spend all my money to get this bounty off. 2,000 fucking gold. That's what I'm talking about. That's some good shit. Can I present Ritz? I've trifled with you long enough. Alright, I have to go to the Thieves Guild and pay it off. That actually did take care of 1,000 gold of it. I don't know why it shouldn't have. But, hey, fuck it, dude. Maybe the Rit just docks off a thousand gold from the bounty. Fuck pickles, they ruin burgers. Well, speaking of fucking pickles, I used to eat these jars of spicy pickles. And one day I was playing some Nautica and I was absentmindedly fumbling around with the lid that had pickle juice and shit on it. And then I decided to scratch my balls uh, absentmindedly while I had the hot pickle... Smegma on my fingers, and that was a uh, pretty good experience. Pretty good experience. I definitely, uh, whenever I think of some Nautica, I think of the time that I fucked myself with pickle juice. Does that make me a deviant? Probably, huh? Left or right, Twix? I don't like Twix. I have no legitimate writs? Fuck you. We're about to find more trouble than you could possibly imagine. Okay. What are your thoughts on banana peppers? I've actually never had banana peppers before. Okay, 1400 gold. I'm in the poorhouse. What's going on, Empty Perspective? 
Fuck yourself with hot wings in the Subnautica expansion? Probably. Maybe. About mountain oysters? I refuse to eat oysters. Or clams. Or bivalves of any sort, really. That's like the only type of seafood that I don't like. Like literally everything else. Oh, mountain oysters or sheep balls? Oh, really? See, I don't know what the fuck they are. No, I've never had mountain oysters. Then. Had raw octopus? Raw? No. What's your favorite candy? I like those blue gummy sharks. I think they're fucking awesome. Although, a year or two ago, I ordered a 10-pound bag of them on Amazon, and I ate so many that I couldn't shit for like a week. I haven't eaten them since. Favorite pizza kind? Uh, pepperoni and jalapenos. With red pepper all over it. I have a jar of spiked... Spiked? Pickled spicy garlic in the fridge that I made myself. I've been the only person thus far who can eat more than one at a time. I'd try that shit. That sounds good. Hello, Odd Goblins and Needs a Nap. How are you doing, dudes? I need to take a bathroom break after I turn this quest in. You like Chinese food? Not particularly. What the fuck? He hates me so much. I don't... What the f... Dude. I didn't even do anything to you, asshole. Can we bribe him? I don't think it's gonna work. We're gonna we're gonna have to get like thirty or more personality levels to finish this quest apparently. So we basically did that quest and wasted a bunch of fucking money for absolutely nothing. We're not fucking talking about. Okay. What about the tiny salt fish? What do you mean? Red Indian food? No. My dad ordered a bag of those sugar free gummies and couldn't stop shitting for days? Why would you order sugar-free gummies? What's the point? What? Alright. I will be right back. I need I need some, uh... I guess I can't talk shit. I drink Diet Coke. I'm gonna get some Diet Coke and tea. And then we will, we will resume some, uh, epic moral. We're gonna, we're gonna try to persuade people unsuccessfully. And summon some more skeletons, so we got some exciting times ahead. I just tripped over my pretzels. Back, dudes.
Nice AFK stream. Thanks. I was gone for 30 seconds. I'm sorry, uh... I'm sorry that's beyond your attention span, dog. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm, I'm a human being. I gotta, uh... I gotta take bathroom breaks and shit every once in a while. Alrighty. So where were we? I gotta wait till nighttime and summon some more skeletons. No mods, you if rats, no, no yiffing rats. I don't know what mod added this weird tavern music, but I can't fucking stand it. <laughs> Shit drives me up the wall, actually. Not having a piss bottle? Do you guys want to hear me pee in a bottle? Maybe we could do that as like a sub goal. Joke. That's a joke. Don't, don't. I shouldn't actively encourage this shit. I heard Yif. Make your friend drink it. Sorry, I don't have friends anymore, actually. Might surprise you. What's going on, Gunterkin? Make Hank drink it? I love listening to the end of the struggle between Tolo's inner urges and Twitch TOS. Um, I Twitch doesn't give a shit what I do. I, I, I've been on the front page saying this shit. They say the same dumb shit I always say. Like, Twitch... I, I, I really don't think Twitch is as draconian as people make them out to be. Personally. Um, but that's just, like, my opinion. I really think, uh... It, it's pretty uh, interesting to me that I haven't been banned at all for misconduct streaming for almost four years. That's actually crazy if you think about it. You, most people thought that when the... Uh, no, I won't say most people, but a lot of people from certain parts of the, uh, the Twitch.television community thought that when the new Twitch Terms of Service went into effect... A year or two ago, that I would be banned like day one. This, this hateful mongrel is immediately going to just be exiled. I won't be able to, to play video games on Twitch anymore. And now, that uh, doesn't seem to be the case, huh? New sub goal: Can you make it subjecting yourself to ten hours of Ayaya? No. Absolutely not. Hmm. Absolutely not. Okay. Little K stars, breadsticks, suck. You fucking suck, a modder. Suck my dick. I don't really get the, uh... Well, actually, no, I, I do get the subjecting yourself to IIF for 10 hours. Like, it's, it's a meme, and it gets people... People in, in, in the seats, but goddamn, dude. It's fucked up. Because I know for a fact that if I were to do, like, a... I'm gonna listen to IIF for 10 hours stream, there would be quite a few people who would sit through the entire fucking thing. I had people watch me for literally 20 hours playing Winnie the Pooh Home Run Derby. Can I get these blue gummy sharks at Walmart? Sometimes. It depends on the Walmart, but I've seen them there before. And that's fucked up. Are you subjecting people to that shit? This thing Winnie the Pooh Home Run? Yes. Because it has this droning, grating music the entire time. The entire fucking time. I actually... It got so bad that I had to start playing random video game OSTs. So I couldn't fucking take it. Pull wings of redemption. You can't fucking take this shit no more. <laughs> but it was great. Was it? Was it really? I don't even think most people were around for the Winnie the Pooh stream. That was a long ass time ago at this point. That was almost three years ago. That's crazy to me that it's been that long. 
Maybe we really do need to do it again. I'm sure, uh, I'm sure I'll be just as bad as it is I was back then. Been here for almost three years? Yeah, I've got your soul at this point. Like, you're, you're never gonna be able to leave. I'm not the only person I watch play some bullshit to the point of insanity. Like, the Winnie the Pooh stream was lit because one of my mods was, like, contacting Amanda to make sure that I don't kill myself streaming Winnie the Pooh. Almost got me in the doghouse. Can I leave at some point in my life? No. Winnie the Pooh stream is one that I saw you were streaming tonight. You should always watch everything I do. I'm the fucking best. Because, like, whenever you see... Me streaming some weird shit, it's always the best shit. If you see me playing a real game, like Morrowind, Dark Souls, it's like, okay, whatever, who gives a shit. But if you see me playing, like, games and demos, you know it's gonna be something like Arthur dies in the forest or whatever the fuck. <laughs> it's just like, what on earth is this shit? He doesn't talk with people he don't like. My personality's been drained to zero. When the fuck did that? Oh, right, because I've got the robe on. Rogue Dark Jedi? I didn't even think Rogue was around back then. What's Swiss Tara? gonna go insane from summoning these fucking skeletons of gamers. I can only take so much of this. It's like opening loot boxes stream. Dude, would you guys watch me if I if I bought a shit ton of Pokemon cards? I don't play Pokemon and I don't give a shit about Pokemon cards, but it, it's epic, right? It's unboxing. These buy cards that are worth something. What cards are do buy Magic the Gathering? What are they even gathering? Liddy reacts. Yeah, Liddy reacts. Would you cut the rare cards in half? No. The sound effects are top tier. They remind me of you. you here, so move on. MTG is just a ripoff. Ripoff of what? I can already tell I'm not going to. Oh, like this. shut up. Yeah, I want. I just, let me join the Mages Guild. You fuck. Can't say it. Can't say the hate word. I can't color a little cunny cun cun. That would be bad. Watch you with a lack of enjoyment? Oh, come on. Are you telling me you wouldn't enjoy... You wouldn't enjoy me... Oh, what? Okay, what if... What if I... What if I... What? What if I put the rat mask on and ate the cards? How about then? I was really, I really want to know where I can get a lock spell. No, Amama. Stay out of trouble and you won't get hurt. Do you think, okay, okay, question. I got, a, I'm, I ordered a fuck ton of hot sauce bottles, and by a fuck ton, I mean two. Um... So, alright, hypothetical situation. Do you think it would count as self-harm on Twitch if I did a stream where I got, like, a bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh cards, a bunch of Pokemon cards, and I put the hot sauce on the cards and ate them? Yes? Fucked up, dude. They actually do count that? It's fucking ridiculous. Okay. Steal the contract from Rollin Tilt. Where is he? Am I high? He 
Just don't pass out and you should be fine. I don't know about this one, man. Oh, come on. We, we could do the rat mukbang. We could do the rat mukbang. It would be great. Bother someone else. We could, we could finally... And then when people ask me to do a shitty social eating stream, I could be like, yeah, I already did it, dude. Go watch the VOD, you fucking Riri. The social crying. Make those crayon tacos from Ed Ed and Eddie. We <laughs> got him up and put him on the cheek. Dude, you know what would actually be hilarious? Seeing my dumbass try to cook on stream. That, I guarantee that would be fucking, like, that would be gold. I, I've never cooked anything more complicated than a Hot Pocket in my entire fucking life. It'd be absolutely god-awful, but goddammit, it'd be funny. Hmm. Yeah. Thank you, Asmodeus Briggs, for the 35 months. I appreciate it, dude. How have things been around here? Well, we're playing Morrowind for the rest of our lives. That's how that's how it's been going. So, we also played perhaps the most retarded game of all time last Sunday, called Arthur Dies in a Forest. Keep walking. If you really hate yourself, I would recommend checking it out. Firebite war axe, huh? That's actual dog shit. Impressive. probably burn the water. I wouldn't pour bacon grease in the toilet, though. You can count on me on that. I'll watch the VOD now? Alright, take it easy, dude. Enjoy. Okay, total losing. That's actually way more common than you might think. Like, people tell me they're gonna piece to watch the VODs all the time. It's pretty funny how I, I'm capable Nothing's of cucking myself. Here, so move. Yes, Gunther Kid. Absolutely. It's quick and it's easy, so why much. not? Because DSP did it. Good night, Blind Ashen. I can't do anything that DSP does. I can't, I can't produce quality content. Can't pour bacon grease in the toilet. I certainly can't play Final Fantasy XV. Oh, come on, leave me alone. <laughs> All right, all right. This robe is great because people hate me again when I'm wearing it because it drains 100 points of personality. I think that's fantastic. I hope you guys appreciate it as much as I do. Oh, you doggy gamers. Got bad news. You guys want to know what the bad news is, or do you, do you want do you want me to to hold on a minute? No more stream? No more stream. I'm, I'm dipping, dude. I'm exhausted. I got five hours of sleep. I woke up at 10 a.m. and it's, it's going to be two. However, wait, 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 wait. All right. Here's the deal, though. Here's the deal. Wait and listen before you leave. I'm going to be streaming E3 on all three days. So Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. However... I have to wake up way earlier than I normally would to do that, so I think, this is not a promise, this is definitely uh, if I feel like it tomorrow, sort of thing. But I think I might start the streams earlier, like a couple hours earlier, so I don't, I don't get too, it's not too hard for me to wake up. Maybe I'll start at like 8 or some shit instead of 10, we'll see. Um... If I if I do decide to do that, I'll, I'll I'll say so on Twitter. If you have that bullshit, um, but for tonight, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna as CWC would so eloquently put it, I'm going to go and crash into slumber for now. Yeah. Take it easy, dudes. I will see you soon. <laughs>